Whoa, what happened? What happened? That was so fast. I didn't even see a message. Yo, let's freaking go, Siri bot. Nice job. Let's go. Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Hi, hi. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Good evening. It is I, Vampire Queen. I have returned. Hi. How are we doing tonight? I missed you guys. Hello, hello. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let me say hello to everybody. Solvent and Gasherin, you guys are here in the offline chat. Thank you for being so early. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello. Super Vampire Velvy fan right here. <gasps> I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm a super mega fan. I'm a super mega fan of you guys. I'm glad to hear you guys are doing great. Will she be on time today? I was! Haha! -ha. <laughs> it was a fight though. It was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. You <laughs> make up a point. When I saw that, I was like, no, no. We're hitting go live right now. <laughs> I will not lose this. Solvent, congrats on redeeming first! She was on time today. I was. I broke the prophecy. <laughs> I gave it a little bit of extra time because it did seem like Trevor Bot was broken. So I pinged the live roll and hopefully that went through. I, I checked the site real quick and it said there was an outage. So it happens. It happens. <gasps> Jalal, thank you for the resub. Oh my god, thank you for 24 months. Oh my goodness. That's that's two years. Holy shit. That's a long time. I almost choked on my saliva just now. <laughs> two years of being sub to the queen. I'm honored. You went on an adventure today? Ah, oh, I can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> Shout out Seribot for the insta ban. Hi Belby, I missed you. I missed you guys too. Oh my goodness. <gasps> SCP! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Jalal, thank you for the head bats and congrats. Congrats on redeeming. Jalal is here. I definitely meant everything I said at the start. I know you did. <laughs> Hi, SCP. Hi, Koga. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Decord. Give me a second. Give me a second. <gasps> Active. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I want to do a little quick intro before we dive in to today's festivities although if i am not mistaken i've actually got to add a point to the point to the point goals because jalal just resubbed and that counts as a point so now we're at 91. let me update that <gasps> thank you for the resub uh, Solvent, do I have permission to update the spreadsheet or do you want to update it? Because I don't want us to both- Alright, you did it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't want to touch it because last time we got confused. <laughs> but I see now. Thank you. You don't have to. I could also do it. Like, don't worry. Just let me know. Already on it, boss. Thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yo, let Jalal in. I'll let you in in a second. This is my time first. <laughs> Let Jalal in. Oh my god, we're starting a hashtag. Velvy, I have no money. <gasps> Save it then. Save it. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> well, uh, hello. I missed you guys. I'm sorry that I had to take a break yesterday, but I'll be honest. I guess I didn't. I haven't. I already haven't had the best sleep schedule in the last couple weeks. And then streaming for like an endurance amount of time two nights in a row was really rough. I wanted to like really, you know, kind of bang out this time in, in like consecutive days, but I burnt myself out. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done such long form streams in such a long time. I guess. And then I had other stresses going on. So I really, really apologize for having to like take a break yesterday but we're back here today on time and we're gonna finish out these three hours and 42 minutes in style and we're gonna have a great time spend it no <laughs> hi fable hello hello oh my god hashtag let Jalal in 
Thelby is a good priority. Yeah, but you guys are a priority to me, and I have been shown so much love and support during this Velvathon that I just am super grateful and I want to give that back to you guys with my time. And we'll have some fun activities to look forward to in the weeks ahead. Um, actually, let's get into that now. Let's let's do a little recap, shall we? Uh, let's go to the screen. On this night three of the second annual Velvathon, let us take a look at what we have done so far. We started the clock with eight hours, and we have, this is our night three of stream. Um, we started on Sunday. We have three hours and 41 minutes left on the clock, and we have gathered a total of 91 points, which has unlocked several of the goals for us. Um, chat gets to choose a tweet for me to write. We have started a, a little Ask Me Anything where people can submit questions either anonymously or non-anonymously for me to answer on a future stream. We've also unlocked the Velvet Outfit tier list. The Velvet Takes an IQ Test, um, the Couples Challenge with Jalal, and last but not least, maybe my favorite, <laughs> the new merch drop. So I do want to say um, once the Velvethon is officially over and I take some days to recover, I will be working on getting this stuff ready as they will, the, the IQ Test, Outfit Tier List, and Ask Me Anything are going to be their own dedicated stream. I think those three things are probably short enough that we could do like in one probably three to four hour stream. The couples challenge with Jalal will be its own dedicated stream collab with me and him. And then at some point I want to like have a dedicated day to announce the merch drop. So those will be announced probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you're in the discord server feel free. I've already posted the links to the Curious Cat to submit questions for the Ask Me Anything, and you can submit uh, suggestions for what you would like me to tweet in the channel suggestions channel. Um, when the Velvathon is over, I will also, again, post some reminders in the server and on Twitter about these things, but just throwing it out there now. <laughs> 14 points until Apex Legends. Come on, chat. Let's make her carry Solvent and I in Apex. No, no, no. We don't have to get there. It's okay. <laughs> I will just... It'll be... It'll be an atrocity. Like, I will just die every round. That's usually what happens. How he brings such joy to this castle. Oh, don't make me cry. You guys bring me joy. I, I'm super, super honored. I, I... I had a lot of, like, hesitation going into doing the Velvathon this year because, I don't know, I'm not... I don't... I feel bad doing this kind of thing, I guess. Um, I didn't know if I was doing it right. And I felt like, you know, I, I spent so much time coming up with goals because I wanted to do some different stuff from last year. Stuff that felt fun and worthy of your contributions. So, I don't know. I had a lot of, like, anxiety and unsureness. And overall, like, the imposter syndrome really hit me hard this weekend. Um... So I really am super grateful for you guys for being here, hanging out with me, showing love and support. And again, the love and support doesn't have to be in the form of financial contributions. Everybody that has lurked and hung out in streams or chatted in streams or like chatted in the Discord or interacted with my content on other platforms, like all of that means so, so much to me. Um, and I notice, I perceive all. I want you to know. I see everything. I, I, I love it and I appreciate it. I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Did not think I would still be doing this. So I'm, I'm really grateful. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get sappy. But I really appreciate everybody. And I love you guys. And I missed you guys yesterday. So I'm excited to be here today to finish this out with you all. And then, like I said, when the event is officially over, probably we'll have to take a couple days off. That's why I didn't post a schedule for this week in the server, because, you know, I wanted to finish up the Velvathon. That kind of is just the priority right now. And then when that's done, I'll take some rest days and get back to business as usual with our usual menu. Um, but then the menu will also include, you know, doing some of these point goals. So, yeah. The secret Velvet Apex bread account. Oh god, no. I could never. I'm happy to support you. I'm happy to support what you do in any way I can. Thank you. Gosh, I appreciate it so much. You guys bring me joy. I I would not still be doing this if it were not for everybody 
giving their time to me. I say this all the time. Time is like the most most precious thing we have. And um, I'm honored that you guys choose to spend time with me. Little old me. There's so many other people that are more worthy of your time on the internet. More talented. Have more to offer. I don't know. I just ramble. And I'm bad at games. And I don't play games very seriously or competitively. I'm very casual. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what keeps you guys coming back. But I'm sure as heck appreciative of it. And I recognize that, and that's why I want to always try and work hard to give you my best. Even if that means reluctantly taking a break day so that I'm not low energy during a stream, you know? So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for an amazing second annual Velvathon. And honestly, here's hoping that we get to do another one next year. <laughs> I'm guessing they're roughly going to be in May, because that's usually when I have uh, free time. <laughs> like vacation time from work. Um, so yeah, may or may not be all again next May around this time, the end of the month. So we'll, we'll pick this as our annual weekend, I guess. <laughs> also, uh, throwing it out there in addition to the point goals that we've already, er, already reached, already earned. I, I'm struggling to talk, ba 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 ba. Um, for people that have contributed a certain amount you will be getting uh, some special rewards as a thank you. Um, if you've contributed anything across this Velvathon, that is the equivalent of five subs, 2,500 bits, or $25 in donos. Um, you will get a special Discord role called Court Noble, which gives you access to the Court Noble Discord server chat, which is a special, more private chat with me and my mods. And that will be where I kind of give you guys more behind the scenes like sneak peeks uh, or work in progress of stuff that I'm working on for the channel, um, maybe upcoming art drops or, I don't know, just just more private behind the scenes kind of stuff. Maybe I talk a little bit about the channel or what I've got working on in the background, what I'm cooking or what I'm thinking of doing, or just to check in and chat with everybody, you know? Um, but not to worry, I still will always be active in all the other channels as well. Um, the court nobles will just get, you know, some more behind the scenes sneak peeks that, you know, you'll see first before they get officially posted on other platforms. And if you have contributed anything above, you know, the initial equivalent of the five subs, 2,500 bits or $25, you will still get the court noble role, but then you'll also get a special personalized thank you video from yours truly, kind of like in the form of a cameo. I want to estimate it'll be about 30 seconds long to make it um, a small enough file to send probably via email or something like that, um, where I will thank you, of course, for your contribution. And if there's anything that you would like me to say, as long as it is, you know, appropriate and something I'm comfortable with saying, I can absolutely personalize that message for you. Um, so again super important to join the discord server because that is how I will be able to reach out to you if you've earned that thank you video. <laughs> so how do one how does one become a court lady <laughs> oh well i mean everybody is a well see i went with the word noble because i wanted it to be kind of gender neutral a noble could be either either she her he him they them you know kind of all the same thing and then everybody in the community is called court members I'm very bad with naming things, I'm not gonna lie, so the fact that I got this far, <laughs> the, f the fact that I got this far with the whole court system of nobles and, and members, um, I had, I had at one point wanted to play around with doing some, like, ranks and stuff, but then I was like, it's a little too complicated for me, <laughs> couldn't wrap my brain around that one, good point, yeah, I just, I wanted something gender neutral, you know, um, so that it wouldn't get too complicated with the roles. When does Solvent become Court Knight? <laughs> He's always, I mean, the mods, I call them the Queen's Guard. They are technically kind of already knights or whatever you would call that, you know, the, 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 the defenders of the castle. I'm the court jester, actually, no. <laughs> oh my God, no, Solvi. Slavi, don't talk about yourself like that. What the heck? Although you do make me laugh, but like not in the foolish way of a court jester. You're just funny. And I appreciate that. 
<laughs> oh my god. I would not throw tomatoes at you, don't worry. But yeah, thank you guys so much again. I, I cannot say thank you enough. Um, and I keep saying it and it doesn't feel like thank you is enough. But I so appreciate the love and support. I'm excited to do the point goals. I think they're going to be really fun. I'm most particularly looking forward to... <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of really curious about the IQ test because I've never really done anything like that. And it's been quite some time since I've been in college. So I, I'm, I'm genuine, genuinely curious as to how I fare on that. But I'm super looking forward to doing a fun little challenge with Jalal as well. And I'm excited to release some of the merch that I have been uh, cooking up in the past few months. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let me- oh man, I, I didn't save my pinned tweet, huh? <laughs> Let's make a new one. I love Solvi. Me too, Gasher. Me too. Uh, but I hope you guys have had a good week so far. It is Wednesday. We are halfway there. I know it's really hard to come back into the work week after, like, you know, a long weekend if you had one. Um, I actually called out of work again today. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, you know, I need another day. So, uh, I took another day and maybe I'll regret it, but... Because usually the shorter the week, the more cursed it is. And so I'll only have two days left in this week to get work done. But, <clears throat> you know, I just needed another day. And I feel like that was fair. I had the time, so I took it. Hold on, I'm getting the new pin tweet. The link's posted. Let's see, does that work? Find the Velvethon goals. I didn't write the word here. Alright, so off to a great start. Hold on, don't pin that. Don't pin that. There we go. Okay, that works. We're pinning that one. <laughs> We're pinning that one. I should have made a command, but I didn't because I wasn't sure... Uh, I wasn't sure what I'd need in the pin message. All right. I have to work overtime tomorrow. Oh no, that's so stinky. I'm sorry. Oh, that sucks. And on a Thursday at the end of the week. I hope that it, it flies by. I hope it feels like it flies by for you. Overtime is cringe, but extra money is nice. That is true. Uh, I mean, that's the only upside, although a lot of the times it doesn't even feel like the extra money is worth it at TBH. <laughs> like, there's many days where I've had to work overtime, and I'm like, man, is the extra money really worth the emotional trauma that I'm going through right now? I don't think so. <laughs> but, it, you know, you gotta cling on to whatever motivation you can, I guess. The extra money is a good one. For sure. Let me see here. I do have a plan for today. I'm really excited. Um, so far, we've dabbled in the new Fortnite season, which is certainly something, am I right? It is a chaos incarnate. Um, we tried out that cute new cat game that I've been dying to play called Little Kitty Big City. And I really had tried to play some Fallout 76, but I got sick, so I had to cut that kind of short. But it's okay, because we could always do that again another day. But today, I wanted to spend my last day of the Velvethon hanging out with my favorite person on the planet. We're going to be joined by the one and only Guildmaster himself, Jalal VT. And listen to this, guys. I, I roped him into playing one of my new favorite games. Can you take a guess what game it is? <laughs> Can you want to play some bets? What game? I, I think Solvent actually already knows and outed us last night, but um, I, I got him to play my new favorite game with me and we started a world together. Well, I started the world and he joined it. And we're gonna play it today. And I'm really excited. Yeah, Jalal, he's gonna be with us today. Yeah! <laughs> Gasser and got it. So I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. I 
cannot stop playing. So, and, and this and this is how you know I'm I'm addicted because I normally never like have two simultaneous playthroughs of something going on, but I enjoy V Rising so much that I love playing it with purple. And then I was like, I gotta drag Jalal into this too. So we're gonna be joined by Jalal today, and we're gonna show you guys uh, the world that the. I guess they call them servers. The server that we've been working on. I started like a little bit before he did, so I'm higher level and I have m a more of a castle built. So I'll show you guys what I've built so far. And then we'll see what Jalal has built so far and we'll help him like kind of catch up and probably fight bosses or just grind materials. And we'll just chat and hang out. And it'll be a grand old time because I freaking love this game. I've lost sleep over playing this game. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, I'm excited. Speaking of V Rising, did you see what Purple posted? <gasps> Wait, recently? If it's been this afternoon, probably not because I haven't been on the computer. Have you guys seen? She's playing Diablo right now. Diablo 4, specifically. And she's doing this really cool thing where, like, she's, you know, drawn herself as a PNG for playing for, like, a PNG on theme with Diablo like the outfits and every time she earns new armor in the game she's like drawing that armor and adding it to the png and i think that's so fucking cool it reminds me of like like those dress up games where you could literally just like add outfits to a doll and i'm like man that's so big brain i love that i, I love seeing her progression now and adding armor to her her like her art that's so cool see that's why i like <laughs> That's what I really love about VTubing as well, like, and especially with my 3D model, I feel like I get to play dress up and, like, put outfits on velvet that, you know, I don't know, I guess I don't have in real life or I <laughs> wouldn't be able to wear, maybe. It feels like a dress up game and I really like that. So I think that's sick as fuck. If I was more talented, I would be drawing my own outfits too, but <laughs> I, I cannot draw to save my life. Um, so I love seeing other people do it. <laughs> it was spicy. Oh, I've got to go look then. Oh, wait. I think I know what you're talking about. It is. It was spicy. It was good, though. It was really good. She's so pretty. I love her. <laughs> I cry. I I love my friends. I I don't I don't want to. I, I appreciate everybody that spends time with me. I feel like unworthy of people's time sometimes. I feel like I'm not cool enough to like hang out with people, with certain people, but again, I have imposter syndrome and intrusive thoughts and I'm trying to get over that, but it's really hard. <laughs> <clears throat> it's really hard. This is why like you guys, like the other day, like you guys were giving me compliments and I couldn't take them either. Like I don't know how to take compliments or kind words either. I struggle with all of that. It's a work in progress. She's so pretty. She is. Uh, she is. Intrusive thoughts are lit sometimes. They give me good ideas. <laughs> Solvent, what kind of intrusive thoughts are you having? And I would like to have those because mine aren't ever good ideas. Mine are like, everyone hates you and you're ugly. You know, like, <laughs> those are mine. I don't know what... <laughs> Wait, wait, I would like some further clarification on yours. <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? <clears throat> I would like to know. You are super awesome and beautiful too. I appreciate you saying that. I wish I believed it. I will, I will do my best to accept compliments better. <laughs> That's funny. No further comment. All right, all right. <laughs> Solvent, you keep your secrets then. I see. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna update the game category actually. Me rising. Bum, bum, bum. I'm so. I love this game so much. You don't understand. <laughs> I haven't been this obsessed with a game since Valheim, and I wager to say that I am more obsessed with this game than I was with Valheim because I very quickly dropped Valheim after like maybe two months and I haven't returned. 
and i always thought i would but now that i've played a game like v rising where i feel like the grinding is a lot more balanced and generous and like the bosses are like i don't know feasible i feel like i can't go back to valheim valheim is so much grinding just to like build a base and upgrade your weapons and then some of the areas are just so hard like especially if you're playing by yourself which i most often am in valheim is really hard i feel like i never made it past like the second area i was finally getting a taste of going to i think the swamps and trying to like mine for iron and it was so fucking hard i was dying all the time and you need so much iron in order to do upgrades um, I don't know. I mean, I still love Valheim and it has a special place in my heart because I think it's the first survival crafting game I ever played and fell in love with. And it kind of gave me like the realization that I like that genre of games. However, now that I've played other survival crafting games with like different mechanics, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just not crazy about how grindy Valheim is anymore. I don't know if I'd ever return to it. And they just got an update with a new area and I try to like look at the comments and the feedback and everybody's saying it's so hard that it's almost like unplayable where people are, people are like, I can't collect any of the new items because I keep dying. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that doesn't sound like fun. So I'll stick with some IV Rising and maybe when I ever finish it, well, I will plan on finishing it, I'll try a different survival crafting game. They are spontaneous, so I cannot elaborate on them. They are usually not great ideas, but that is beside the point. Oh, Solomon. <laughs> That's fair. I, I understand. You put a huge smile on my face. You guys put a smile on my face. What are you saying? But I'm glad I could do that for you. That is really my goal, honestly. If I could do that for even one person every time I stream, then I feel like mission accomplished. <gasps> Purple! No, my queen, I love you so much. I love you too. Hi! How are you? I hope you had a good day! I was just bragging about how beautiful you are. Yeah, I cried about it. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about how pretty and beautiful you are, and I was saying how sick it is, that thing you're doing with Diablo, where you're like, drawing your armor onto your PNG every time you get new armor. I was like, she's so big brain for that. Like, what the heck, bro? The talent is oozing out of her. Oh my god, purple. Guess what? Purple, I, I got Jalal to play V Rising. We've started a server, and I'm getting him to play. I'm getting the Vampire Guild Master to play. <laughs> uh, he had, I mean, he actually played a lot more than I did when it was in early access. I didn't realize. He told me this last night. I hadn't realized how much time he had actually spent playing. I was the one that I apparently had hardly touched it. Um... But he like had had done like several bosses and everything, um, because he's more talented than I. Like I I would just keep dying, so I guess I didn't very I didn't make it very far for giving up. So uh, I'm I'm a little further ahead of him right now, so I'm just helping him like kind of catch up and grind materials and stuff. We fought like. I lost track. We fought like a couple of bosses last night, like his first few. Um. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Look at all these queens in here. I know. So many crowns going around, man. Well deserved. Having fun playing Diablo. <gasps> you know how amazing I think you are. No! I'm glad you're having fun. Actually, watching you play has me low key also wanting to try it again. But maybe after I finish like a couple of the games I'm currently working on. Again, I know that was a game that Jalal really wanted to play with me and I kind of gave up on it at some point. But uh, I mean I own it, right? Like I bought the game. So I feel like someday I should play the game that I purchased. You feel? I was actually super hyped to play Diablo as well because I really like the aesthetic of it. I think when I started playing it, it was just at a time period where I was always tired. And a little sick. And so every time we'd pop on to play, I would fall asleep. <laughs> and so I thought it was a game, but I don't know, maybe it was just me. I'm kind of just always perpetually tired, you know? But I always really liked the uh, armor 
kind of system where you can do the transmog and like put on a really cute outfit but then underneath it have like the high level armor that you actually need for stats i really appreciated that that was diablo was the first game i played that had that kind of thing I was so used to like in games you know you had to sacrifice you either had to sacrifice stats to wear something cute or you know just wear something ugly in order to be powerful so i really appreciated diablo letting us do transmogging and i wish more games were like that iv rising has that and i'm like fucking thrilled about it diablo is so fun i never played any of the others but i liked the vibes of four it's the only one i have experience in Hell yeah, more Re rising. Let's go. Yeah. I've lost so much sleep to this game, <laughs> but it's worth it. <laughs> There's too many good games to play. I know, right? And like so little time. And like a lot of the games that I want to play are not just like, you know, a little five hour game. It's like a fucking long game. I love the Fallout games, but they're long as hell. You know, Diablo is kind of a long one too. Oh, what else am I thinking of? Cyberpunk was a long game and I still haven't even finished it. Um, I want to play Skyrim someday, but I know that's long too. And and um, The Witcher I never finished. That was long. I don't know, man. The <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I bought it with every intention of trying it and I, and I just, I don't think we ever got past the intro. Mm. Yeah, I wish I had more time. You know what I also kind of miss too? The Sims, but not the fucking gameplay. I just want to decorate. <laughs> I just want to decorate a house. Someday I want to return to my Sims file where I was building like a cottage core little house for like a, a vampire Velvet and Jalal Sim with our dog and our cat and I was going to make us have a baby and everything. But I never got that far because I never finished the house. We were, I was farming and he was going to be like, you know, tending to the animals. It was cute. It was cute as hell. I never finished decorating the house though. Diablo, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'll listen, I, I need more mommy and Lilith in my life. Depends on how many side quests you want to do. That's the thing. I'm usually the kind of person that loves doing side quests because, I mean, at least in some games, the side quests give you nice lore that really expand on the world and you meet new characters. Like, I, and I'm thinking of like how some games where, some games make it to where when you do the side quest, they actually help you for the main quest. I'm thinking like Horizon Zero Dawn, where if you had done like all the side quests in that game before you got to the end main quest, all the people that you helped in the side quests showed up in like the final battle to help you which i thought was sick as fuck so sometimes it's like man i, I do want to always do side quests because i think they offer like another layer of world building if if the game you know has has it set up that way some games have side quests that offer nothing in terms of lore and are just fetch quests maybe just to level and it's kind of boring but um some games make side quests worth it and I'm usually the kind of person that loves doing that. I hate skipping side quests. But as I've gotten older and I have like less time on my hands, I'm, I'm learning that it's really hard to want to play a big open world game with a main quest and side quests and, and finish it <laughs> before my brain gets distracted by some other game that comes along. But maybe that's why I'm really liking survival crafting games because... I don't know, they're- I don't know, they're more doable, I guess? Or there's not side quests that distract you? I mean, it's kind of sad that they have a little lack of, a, uh, a little lack of story. But, I don't know. I'm rambling now. I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna get Jalal in here so we can play. I can still ramble while I- while I grind for stuff. <gasps> Nyx, hi hi! <gasps> Thank you for the dress of redeem! I'm actually already- that's the outfit I'm in right now. The queen edition um, redeem is for if somebody wants to change me back to queen if I'm in another outfit. Can we give Nyx uh, their points back, actually? Wait, I know how to do that. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I want you to get your points back, though. 
Meant villains all of it. Oh, I got you. I could do that one. Uh, wait. I know how to do this. I'll get you your points back real quick. Hold on. Oh, did Solvin already do it? Oh, they- Wow. You're so fast! By the time I open up the window! Bro, Solvin is lightning. Thank you. Thank you, Solvi. Okay. Villain Velvet, I got you. Uh, I have so many windows open. Hold up. Where is my window for the outfits? I found her. Aha! Hi. <laughs> well, there we go. Perfect. Thank you so much for the dress up for Dean. Can we love a good ramble? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm best at. <laughs> That's what I'm best at. A lot of the times, I don't even know if I'm saying anything that makes sense. But boy, can I ramble. I'm a rambler. I'm a silly little rambler. See? Velvet is the queen. <laughs> queen of rambling? I don't know. Nonsense rambling, for sure. Refund complete. Thank you, Solvent. <laughs> Women like guys who are fast. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Let's see. Let me call. Let me call Jalal so we can start playing. Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you ready? I just um. I just heard Master Chief saying he was sucked. He was drinking a chalky milk. What? Uh. I sent you the video on TikTok. Oh, I'm not gonna look at it right <laughs> like, now. <laughs> no, like, you gotta show it on stream. I don't know how to show that on stream. Huh? Wait, I don't know how to show that on stream of TikTok? I watch them on my phone. Yeah, yeah, but you just go to the TikTok website, log in, and then look at your sent messages, because, like, I sent you two. <laughs> it's like, you just have to see it, bro. It's just, like, it's just so good. And chat needs to witness this. Okay. My god, he's sending me on a side quest. Jeez. There's there's two of them. <laughs> All right, hold on. When did I get a founder's badge? <gasps> you got a founder's badge because I went and took a look at my founder's badge. There was this there was this whole thing. You can actually see you do you get 10 pound All right. Let me let me explain myself. <laughs> Words are hard. You get 10 Founder's Badge slots, and when I went to go look at mine, I found that several of my Founder's Badge slots were being held hostage by, like, random accounts that I guess had been, at some point in time, gifted a sub, um, and then only had a sub for, like, a month, and then expired, and then never renewed, and I, like, verified the account names and saw that these weren't even, like, active community members or even some of them weren't even accounts that were following the channel so i had the ability to kind of like boot them from having a badge and then what the system does is give that badge to like the next qualifying person who has had like a sub the longest um or like from a certain time period so a couple of people ended up getting the founder's badge you know getting like moved up in the list and getting a founder's badge so I left it, you know, I left it on people that I know have actually, like, been subbed and are real people and have been active, you know, for a decent amount of time. Is that sexy voice I hear, Jalal? Yeah, it is. No. Solomon said, hi, I love you, brother. <laughs> What's up, brother? I thought so, too, but you, I, don't, I don't know what happened with mine. I had like at least four or five of my founders badge slots being held by just random accounts and I don't I don't know what happened but and I went through to see if they had ever any chat history or like follow history with my channel and they didn't so I you know kind of removed them until they were given to like proper active accounts so that's why some people have sub found uh some people have founders badges now that they had not seen before. Uh 
Oh wait, you turned into a chibi. I gotta fix you. Your big head is taking up like half the screen now. <laughs> hey yo. You have a large head. It's you cute put me though. Between your breasticles. Mm, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Or on top of your head. No. You sit Why? down here. That's where you sit. Uh. But I want to sit on your head. Yeah, but then you're too tall. You can't be taller than me. I won't be taller than you. I'm Do you really want me to watch head. this TikTok? Because I don't have a source for like pulling up this TikTok thing right now. It should be the browser source that I helped you create. Yeah, but I- oh god, why do you want me to do this? It's so complicated. Um... Okay. Just do a- like a- uh, a display capture. Or a window I don't want to do a display capture, that- that stresses me out. Alright, then do a window capture. Okay, hold on. Hey, yo, me. It ain't that fucking hard, bro. <laughs> I I have a hard time with sources in OBS. Did you see that PlayStation announced their state of play today? Their what? PlayStation announced their state of play today. It's tomorrow. Oh, I did not see that. No, I was not really on the computer today. They probably aren't really doing a whole lot of, like, marketing for it, because it's probably not going to be anything crazy. They'll be reigning over Jalal as the world dictates. Yes, as it should be. <gasps> Dylan! Hi, hi! Welcome in! I hope you're having a good day. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, like I said, I, when I saw it went to someone who I know is active and consistent and deserving of it, I left it. There's there's just a couple of my slots that were being held hostage by just random accounts, you know, which uh, I thought was I strange. That, but I may go and do the same thing. It was really hard. I like I had to Google it a couple of times. Like Twitch does not make it easy to get to that section. It was a little confusing. I I don't quite remember how I got there, but I'm sure I could figure it out again and help you get there. Um, okay, hold on. So I have my Twitch thing open. Yeah, but these are my these are my messages, bro. And TikTok, bro. It's not like these are private. Yes, no, it's not. <laughs> also, it's not coming up as a source. I mean, TikTok is a website it's for browser source. You would just. I mean, so it's, like, uh, it's not coming up as a browser source. Does don't mean, worry about it, then. Does that mean I could be a founder for Jalal, too? Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, my V Rising has an update. Yeah, it has a small update. Okay, I figured it out. I guess my TikTok DMs are getting exposed right now. Uh, we're gonna watch this. It's the last two. We're gonna watch this TikTok that Joel insists that I watch. Hold on. I have to unmute the source. Okay. The last two, he said. Master Chief, you mind telling yep. me what you're drinking? Sir, popping a chalky milk. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're drinking? Sir, popping a chalky milk. Okay. Pop in a chalky milk. Just hearing Master Chief, you, say that, you mind telling me what you're doing in that Snuggie? Sir, 
going blanky mode. <laughs> Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing in that Snuggie? Sir, going blanky mode. Going blanky mode. Wow, I like that one better than the Chucky milk. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. How did they get him to say that? That's like actually his voice. It's probably just AI, but yeah, that's his voice. Oh, Sir, popping a chalky milk. Yeah, because it sounds like him. Going blanky mode. <laughs> Hi, Void. Void's like, send me that meme. I got you. I got you. Wait, Void. I sent it, I sent it to Mochi as well, because I know Mochi would like that. Can I have Void on TikTok? <laughs> Void, do you have a TikTok? I can send you the link. Tiki talky. Let's go, Chalky Milk. I can't have Chalky Milk. It makes me hurty. Master Chief, what are you drinking, sir? Hopping on Chalky Milk. I want Chalky Milk. <laughs> also, Void, hi! I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're doing well. When are we doing a Halo playthrough, Velvet? Oh, Void said I was going to send it to Mochi and be like, that's you. I am. So I'll beat you to it. I'm still gonna send it to you though. Wait, how do I do that? The link. All right, Velvet, we're we're really working with all all the brain cells today. I sent it to you anyway, in case in case you wanted it. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. You know what's crazy? I was watching a video where two people were trying to guess what some like gaming journalist platform said were the top 10 games voted by like their journalists, the top 10 gaming IPs that need to end. And the number one option is going to make you really upset. Wait, hold on. Hi, everyone. How is everyone? I'm good. I hope you're doing good, Void. You said that there was a list of the top 10 gaming IPs that need to end? Yeah, and it was put together by some, like, gaming journalist. And you're like, saying that one of these is gonna make me mad? No, the number one option will make you pretty upset. Is it because it's a game that I enjoy? <laughs> yes. Is it a series? Yes. That's been ongoing for a while? For a long time. For a long time. Okay, wait, I want to ask for another clue. Don't tell me, because I want to guess. It's a game that I care about? Yes. That I love? Yes. Can I ask what console it's on, or is that going to immediately give it away? I mean, it would immediately give it away, but like... I mean, like, as far as I know, you only have one game that's like a long time... Like, love of yours. Is it Animal Crossing? Okay, no. <laughs> okay. One game that's a long time love. Is it Crash Bandicoot? No, I'm surprised you didn't guess it immediately. I mean, it can be The Legend of Zelda. Who would want that to end? It is The Legend of Zelda. Wait, what? Why would somebody ask that? The number for one that? game according to these people is that The Legend of Zelda needs to end. There was no explanation as to why, but the only thing I can think of is that it's been so perfect that like they don't want them to like tarnish it by putting out a bad game but you know what's crazy is gaming ips like call of duty and assassin's creed were not in the top 10. scp thank you for the simify thank you for the simify velvet i'm sorry it took me a second that's one that i have to enable <laughs> sims yeah it's basically just a redeem where you get to pop a sims gem on top of my head oh you're muted oh i'm sorry i was doing a redeem I'm not streaming though, sweetheart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a ha you keep saying this, but it's just a habit of mine that I always have. And I try to be courteous to other people, even if they're streaming or not. Because I don't know. I, I tried. Okay. Anyway. And you were talking and I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, but that's, that's a dumb take because The Legend of Zelda is a beloved series. And honestly, like... I don't want- I wouldn't say they've ever, like, put out a bad game. I don't- every game has been maybe different, and then some people have ones that they've liked and not liked, but none of them have ever been bad. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, the people the people that were guessing, they were guessing stuff like COD and Assassin's Creed, which I agree with those, but they were not in the top 10. And they were like, God, I hope not, but Zelda, they were like number one. And they were like, what? They're like, the worst game was probably Skyward Sword, but people still love that game. Like, why would they, why would they want, you know what number two was? This what? is what tells me, this right here, chat, should tell you that you should never trust gaming journalism for anything. Nothing. Whether it be Metacritic scores or their opinions, they're all idiots. Because they said number one was Zelda, number two was GTA. Bro, people love GTA. And there's so and much like, you can do with GTA. Like, the modding has made it so that it's like a whole other game after you've played the actual game. Like, GTA 5 came out in 2013. And it still has... Go to Twitch right now and look up GTA 5. It is like the only game I'm doing that is good. Like I'm glad to hear, boy. Old. I love Zelda. Me too, Gasherin. I would never want that to end. I do think that they cannot get away with doing another Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom style game. I think the next Zelda game better be fucking different because we need a change. But I don't think they I, should stop. I think... I actually think that they can make that a trilogy in one condition, and that is... We need to change the map. It, well, no, the map would probably stay the same, but what they do <laughs> is, like, it time. comes it comes out on the Switch 2 and has significantly better graphics, so it feels like a different game. Maybe, but I don't know. Bait article? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Sounds like... All right, guys. Uh, first of all, I'm in. So if you want to join me off of Steam, you can do so at any time now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show chat my castle. This okay. Is, this is the castle that I've been working on in my off-stream world. I ride. It is nowhere near done, and this room particularly is a huge work in progress. Oh, it's kind of. Oh, it's almost night time. I'm gonna start from the outside and show you guys, but I'm gonna wait until it's night time. Make Zelda playable, I would fucking kill for not even just Zelda being playable, but for a game that maybe is like her the is she's the main character, you know? If Zelda if they make a game where Zelda's the main character, where am I? Well, remember yesterday you got disconnected in oh, a yeah, very untimely right. location? Yeah. I, I couldn't drag your body back to the castle. I could drag you a little bit and I put you in a corner with shade but I wasn't gonna drag you across the map. That was gonna be too hard. I'm getting attacked. Ah, let me out. Let okay. me out. Well, Jalal is going through it. I'll show you guys my castle. But yeah, I would kill for Zelda to be playable in like any game or just to have a game where she's the main character for once. I think that'd be sick. GTA 5 has a big roleplay community and modded servers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like GTA is so moddable, which has made the game have so much more longevity because you can play the main game like as it's intended and then once you're done you can join a modded server and it's like a whole different experience and people have gotten hundreds of extra hours of gameplay out of those modded roleplay servers and they look like a lot of fun but it is nighttime now so i can show you guys my castle starting with the front entrance actually let me close this door first off this is my drip. It's a blood moon, actually, so that's why I look red. Uh, I'm wearing the warlock outfit. I wanted to experience a different outfit than what I chose in my other playthrough. Uh, I was I did the marauders outfit in the other playthrough, so I went with the warlock outfit for this one, which I thought was a nice red dress. I got the Castlevania stairs. This is the entrance that I've been working on so far. Ah, <gasps> pretty. Thank you, thank you. I got my gargoyle got statues. You got what? What? What did he say? He's gone. Okay. We continue. Um, we got my gargoyle statues, you know, reminiscent of Damon, good boy. With some wings on the front. Undecided if I want to continue the wings, like on all the pillars, I don't know. But this is my little front. Beautiful! Thank you! I'm taking like what I've learned from watching Purple's Castles. And I've like sucked up that knowledge like a sponge and now I'm using it again <laughs> to fix up both of my castles and both playthroughs. Never seen gameplay of this game? Oh, I think it's so fun. If you like survival crafting games, I think you'll like this game. And this this game offers such a unique 
uh, building aspect because, you know, you get to build a vampire castle and I think that's cool as fuck. <laughs> this is my front entrance. I had only enough carpet rolls that I just happened to like pick up in the world to make two carpets. So I just wanted to see what it looked like. I made a little entrance. Here's my servant. I named him Damien. Um, I'm bad at naming things, so I named him Damien after uh, the Vampire Diaries character. <laughs> and I got some floating candles and lights! I actually just added those lights last night because it was very dark in here. I have some miscellaneous storage and processing items in this front room. In addition to my bed, or my coffin and my mirror. They're not going to stay here. This front room is going to just be like a front room, you know? Um, but I haven't finished building rooms for this stuff to go in yet. Um, but yeah, I did put a painting up because again, I kind of just had, I guess at some point in time, find, I found some like, uh, what are they called? Like painting frames. So I built, you know, my a la carte painting just to play around. <laughs> this place looks amazing. Thank you. I'm so proud. Did I survive my expedition? I don't know! I don't know yet! That's in my playthrough with purple. I, I hope you did though, because I did send you to go get some iron, which I really need. <laughs> you know what's funny though? This guy that I have in this playthrough, named, his name is Damien, he died last night. And I didn't realize until like a couple hours in, I was like, wow, you know, my servant, I haven't seen him walk around the castle in a while. And I wanted to give him some armor because I had upgraded my armor and I had some leftovers and so I went up to his coffin to go like summon him and it said, oh, Damien died. And I was like, what? When did he die? How did he die? I don't even remember how long he had been dead for. So I gave some blood essence and I had to resurrect him. So I don't know, your chances are not looking good, Solvent. I'm going to be honest because I don't think I sent you out with good armor. <laughs> You could have servants, what do they do? Yeah, so the servants, you could have them, well, if you're doing, if you're playing on a PvP server, like player versus player, I believe they protect your castle, but me, I'm just doing like a private player versus environment server, and I could send him out to like collect resources for me, like ore, or wood, or stone, so he can help like gather shit for me, which I think is pretty cool. I hope I don't. Oh my god, Solvent. If you die, I'm gonna bring you back. Like, you're not allowed to stay dead. I just hope you know that. Um, so anyway, this is my front room. It's got my castle heart. I added some cool statues. Maria and Alucard. I'll explain the Why stairs. Why did my keybinds change? I'll explain the stairs and the door in a second. This is, uh, my, like, workshop area. I got this designated room with the stuff the sawmill, and the grinders, and I have space for more, I think. Maybe a third one fits here, I'm not sure. And my leather station, and I, I played around with putting a frame there. I don't know, I might move it. And a rug. And then this leads into my forge room, where I've got the workbench and more storage. And my furnaces. I'm debating putting a door here and making this lead into another room for like other processors, but I don't know yet. That's why there's just empty space here. But yeah, these are my processing rooms so far. Bruh, won't let me rest? No, never. You never let me rest, so I can let you rest. <laughs> nice big rooms! Ah, thank you! I tried to, like I said, learn from the best and I saw purple always give herself like ample space and I was like shit maybe I should do the same <laughs> that's kind of fair yeah <laughs> this I made a little teleporting room so I put my teleporter here and you know it's got a roof so when I come in um I don't die to the sun if it happens to be the daytime and I, I did all the walls with windows because I thought it'd be really cool to do stained glass windows all around I obviously just don't have the glass to do that yet. Or I'm going to put some plants out there that I could look out on. A nice, a nice little garden area. I put a door here. Again, to potentially lead to a garden area. I just haven't gotten that far. I'll show you guys my upstairs. So I started working on an upstairs. I got this big old room. Right now it has my paper press servant coffin and my tailoring stuff 
Um, I think this is going to be the tailoring room. And eventually I'll move my paper press and servant coffin to other designated rooms. Again, just haven't decided where. I built this room. It's above the teleporting room. So this could also be like a dedicated processing room. Uh, I just don't know what yet. I'm not sure. But it could be something. And I did the window thing again because I just thought it's almost like a cool tower section. Where all the walls have windows and I could look out on the scenery. Like that area over there is Jalal's plot of land. So maybe I could see his castle from my windows, you know? I'll show you the map. I built on this corner piece. And this is my section and this is where he's building his section. This, this section is actually kind of hilarious because... I mean, on one hand, it's on the corner of the map. So it's kind of inconvenient whenever I have to find... A boss or like grind for resources I do kind of have to go very far out like I haven't even been to this side of the map yet but right in front of my castle area there is a corpse pile um, and it's funny because getting here and building here was really hard at first because I was super low level and so it was kind of dangerous because uh, I couldn't fight the corpse pile but it's been an advantage because what happens is that uh he like kills stuff that passes by and so in front of my castle every once in a while there'll just be like a bunch of free drops that i can like go and scoop up really quick and then head back inside and i don't actually have to fight him and then it's funny because on this plot of land i also had like a tree ant and when i first came here i obviously wasn't high enough level to fight him so i kind of just had to build the castle around him um but now i was able to like kill him and then put some floors down so hopefully he doesn't respawn um, but yeah, Jalal also in front of his area has like a stone golem and a tree ant that, you know, sometimes fuck up shit that passes by. So this little area right here has kind of been nice because we get some free drops um, in front of our territories. So that's cool. <laughs> um, I put a door here because I plan on maybe this leading to another room as well for processing. Again, I just haven't done it yet. It takes so much stone, so much plank. Um, but so let me show plank. you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Damon is shooting at inside the castle, but okay. Um, what I'm excited about is this right here. I created what I thought would be like a really cool lead up into this hallway with this door. And Jalal, I gotta give him all the credit for this because he said this and I was like, that's such a good idea. I'm gonna steal it. His idea was to build like a section in the middle of the castle that's almost like a garden like an indoor garden or an atrium so that's kind of what i want to do so i want this door to kind of lead into a little open area that would be a garden section with the plants and flowers and one of the really pretty wells like um or the fountains like the blood fountain from the castlevania dlc as like a centerpiece so that's kind of what i want to do here um but yeah, I, I haven't even fought the boss where you get the garden and stuff yet. So I haven't started building it or working on it. But that's the plan. Um, and then maybe I'll put some stairs in the back to lead up to a second floor. Or there will be hallways. I don't know. I don't know. It's all a big work in progress. But this is as far as I've gotten. This right here is where the tree ant used to be. But once I was high enough level to kill him... I killed him, and then that's why I put these floors down, so hopefully he doesn't respawn. Um, but yeah, for quite some time, like, <laughs> it was a little dangerous, and I kind of just had to build around him. But, now he's gone. And so yeah, that's what I have so far. That's what I have so far, and I'm proud of it. And I, I, I'm excited to expand. I'm excited about the rugs, TBH. I have been... I got something in my research desk for you. <gasps> oh, I'll come and look. Okay. I've only fought a few of the bosses. Um, I'm about at the level 30 section. I haven't done Clive or Finn. Oh, actually, I did the bear and Nicholas. I haven't done Pelora. She gives you the gardening stuff. Quincy I also kind of want to do because that's when you get the iron smithy. And new outfits and the ingots. But he's, he was kind of high level. So kind of what I've been doing is grinding paper to finish out the recipes in the research desk. Because you get like the better armor recipes from there. 
and furniture recipes. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And then last night, Jalal started, so I've been helping him kind of try and catch up to me. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Ta-da! I don't think Jalal is even seen my new decorations because I built them after you like got booted <laughs> last night. So you haven't last even night. seen. Crazy. Yeah. So he hasn't even seen them. But let's go. Let's go head over to his place and see what he's got going on. Yeah, you can come see my shitty place now. No, it's not shitty. You just started. Very cool. Thank you. I'm proud. I'm proud. She ain't big yet, but. She's special to me. Shit, I'm gonna die. So yeah, isn't this really cute? Like, there's this cute little bridge that connects my plot of land with his plot of land. I like this little space. There he is. Hi. Hello. Look at him chopping tree. Ow, at you. Thank you for awooing back. You're welcome. This is Jalal's place. Look, I'm so proud. He's got a pretty big space so far for having just started. I like the floor. It's very shiny. What did you learn? Something about paintings. Oh, I already had that one. No, I just unlocked it, mean you had everything unlocked together because I went to your thing. You did not. Okay, well, it's not telling me that I have anything new to learn from you. So the game is a liar, got it? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, back to my grind. Um, so what, are you, what is the quest that you have right now? I gotta build a stone coffin, which I can do. I'm just taking my time. Oh, okay, okay. Just asking. I keep my way downtown, fucking fast. I have 239 sawdust. Need that. I do. Man, why did you tell me after I left? Why'd you leave so fast? You don't like my place? No, I just wanted to give you space to work on your thing. Why would you be in the way? I'm. I don't want to rush you. <laughs> what arguing? The parents are fighting. <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting again. I'm coming back. <laughs> Let me take a sip of water. Where oh no no no! I'm in the sun. Right there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I've properly hydrated. My goodness. I did a lot of blah 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 in a short amount of time. I don't think I've spoken this much like all day today. <laughs> I think I'm going to... Because I've got... Almost two stacks of planks and one and a half stacks of stone bricks. I'm going to do some expanding. Yeah. Where's your sawdust? I came back. It's inside the thing. Oh, okay. Just gonna take that. I'm grinding. I've made it my goal or my job to grind the paper for us to try and get the research desk recipes. Since I, I already have- I mean, I have, have paper if you want that as well. Yeah. I'm coming back Wait. again. <laughs> Turn right back we have, around. We literally have teleporters, babe. I know, but I mean, I was already here. It's in one of these chests. Um, like ten of them. I, I got a, I got like a whole book, which is what gave me the um the thing it gave me was the fine paintings, assortment of fine paintings. Yeah, I already had that. I think I told you last night to come get it, and then again it was like probably you got disconnected or something, and we never really got to finish. But um. Oh, well, I just learned shade walker leggings. Nice. I'm coming back. Oh my god. I don't know if I have that. I don't think I do. I'll have to check. Um, I made it my mission to help to be the one to grind the paper for us since I already have the paper processor, basically. And I know once we finish the research desk, we'll need it for the study, so yeah. <clears throat> 
Oh, I already had the leggings too. You need to come to my table and make sure you get anything that I might have that you don't. Why am I burning? Oh, because you have a window here. I think we're just about caught up now though, but... Let me go make sure. But I'm about to probably- Wow, thanks for closing the door in my face. I'm sorry, it's a habit I always close the door because of, you know, enemies. I, I thought you were like right with me. And I'm in your castle before you are because I use a teleporter. Oh, well, you know, well, I didn't think of that, I guess. I didn't want to go through the loading screen. Okay, that doesn't make any sense considering that I'm here. I don't know what you're talking about. And now I'm leaving. That's not enough to learn a new thing, but I'm processing some more paper. Did you go to my desk, though? I did. Okay. I have fulfilled my role. <laughs> Sir, popping a chocolate milk. <laughs> Activating banky mode. That one's my favorite. Activating banky mode. 100%. So, I was lying in bed last night and I have an idea of something I want to do with you on stream exclusively. Okay. I yep. want to play through the Halo story with you because they're co-op. Okay. All of them. Halo 1, You know what my two, first question three. is going to be? It's on Game Pass. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wait, how Halo many games one... are there? Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, Halo Reach, 4, 5, uh, Infinite. Wait, that sounds like a lot of games. Yeah, but all of the campaigns are roughly like four to like eight hours long. They're not super long campaigns. But I want you, because like now that I know that like... Number one, it's something we can do together. And it's one of my favorite franchises. Number two, I haven't even played through all the games, so it would be like a learning thing for me as well. But even if you never get into the multiplayer, which is fine, I want you to know the story. Okay. The story is something doable? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because- How because, long does um, each game take? It's obviously I not something- I need you to say it again, because you say you, made, you gave me a lot of information at one time. They're like four to eight hours long in length. Oh, okay. Each so one. each one would be maybe if we if we really did it seriously, maybe two to three streams each. Yeah. But they're like all co-op <sighs> and they're all on Game Pass. You'll get Halos one, two, three, ODST, and Reach, all on the Master Chief Collection. And you can select which campaigns you have downloaded or not downloaded, so that you don't have just eight games downloaded so like mm -hmm. think of like you know the minecraft launcher think of that but for halo that's what halo master chief uh, collection is what do you think i mean i guess i don't really have a reason to say I no mean, <laughs> if you don't want to you don't have to I just thought you're cool. offering to play something with me i'm taking you up on it why do you act like I don't ever do that? Because we- I'm not saying that you don't ever do that, but I feel like we struggle to find stuff that we both like. Well, I don't- I don't know if you'll like it or not, but you might. Oh, well, I have to try it at least, you know, it's only fair. But I'm gonna have a legal agreement signed that once we start, we can't stop until we finish all of it. Wait, what? a legal agreement that once we start we can't finish all of it but what happens to like if i try the first one and i don't like it i don't have to continue bro like what it sounds like not my problem no 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 it is your, i'm gonna make it your problem because then i have to do that for like several weeks because it's not gonna be something we finish in one day you guys are so cute are you hearing me He's swindling me into something that I'm not I'm not prepared for. <laughs> okay, how about we make an agreement then? I make you play the Halo franchise with me on stream. And in return, I have to do the same thing with you for a game of your choosing. I don't 
don't have a game at the ready, though. Well, you'll have time to think about it. You've got at least six weeks because of that. At least, at least six that weeks. Long. Yeah, it'd be at least that long before we finish the games. So. When are we starting this? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we can start this. Um. Next week. No, we can't because I want to finish our subathon, my subathon stuff first. So okay. we have to do a couples so challenge we'll... stream first, and then so we'll once that's the... out of the way, we'll start the week of June fifteenth. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> what, you don't wanna? No, I do, but I wasn't prepared so fast. He's like, all right, let's nail down a day. <laughs> I uh, I don't have a game per se that I would ask you to play off the top of my head. The game I was gonna ask you to play is this, and you're playing it right now, so I feel like I've already won. <laughs> All right, well then the uh, the agreement's already been met. Now you no, can't no, play no, 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 no. But but I was gonna say, can I exchange it for like a show that you have to watch with me or something? Like, can I do something yeah, else? Yeah, I mean, look, I want like, you to watch. I want us to finish Castlevania, like. The thing about a functioning relationship is that you have to take part in other people's things, even if you aren't necessarily a fan. I know. We do that all the time. Well, we never we never see it through because then we, like, we both Because if you don't really it. like something, I don't want to force you to finish it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is like, we neither one of us want to force each other to play something that or watch something that they don't enjoy. Except but what you just said, day, though. You're, it sounds like you're like, no, we gotta finish right. it. But, like, <laughs> let me finish. Okay. Oh my god, I'm, I have bad I'm thunder right that, now. Like, I'm saying that, like, I would like for us to, like, genuinely sit down and even if we don't like it, play through it because it makes, or watch through it or whatever it is because it makes the other person happy. Okay, yeah, I mean, I can get behind that, and then I've got a list of things that I would like to finish with you then. That they make me but happy. that also means that you can't, you can't do the whole thing of like, well, you didn't like it, so I don't want to make you watch or play it. But it's like, it's not about, like, even if I don't like it, it's something that I'm doing with you that you love. And that's all that matters. Okay. And you gave me an in starting in less than an hour when I wake up new bunny girls? Ooh, I like bunny girls. That's exciting. Um, I'm I'm down. But then, first order of business is we need to finish Castlevania in exchange. Does that sound fair? Yeah. That's fine, but. Why do you say that's fine, but why is there a but? Just because like we can't do that on stream. Well, it doesn't have to be on stream for me. I want us to just do it because that's my favorite show of all time and I wanted you to watch it with me. You know, I genuinely enjoyed that too. I know, but it's one of those things that we watched like two episodes and then never came back to. So I was like, wow, he hates it. I have ADHD. You just have to bring it up. <sighs> all right, well, I'm bringing it up right now. Why is there a butt? Because butts are great. True in the right context. Very true. I built onto my castle. Let's go. Nikki just had an anniversary too. Did you guys get like rewards or anything from that? I think they did. Unless that's a different game I'm thinking of. Whoa, I'm getting like a major thunderstorm all of a sudden right now. I hope that this whole thing doesn't just come crashing down. <laughs> oh! I don't seem to be dropping frames or anything, so I think we'll be fine. But, warning you now that if I disappear, perhaps that's why. For chance. I think you got my thunderstorm from earlier. Yeah, I think so. I remember you saying this and I was like, wow, I haven't had any in a minute. And now all of a sudden I hear it. I'm saying that because I don't know if you could hear the thunder through my mic or anything, but I think I'll be okay. If stream drops, then I will get back up as soon as humanly possible. 
And I think we'll be okay. I think the biggest thing is I really wanted to finish Castlevania with you. And that's like the only that's like the only thing I could think of off the top of my head. Like I don't have a game necessarily that I'm like, oh my god. I mean like We have like the dark picture series that I want to play with you that we both have, but I'm saving that for like Right. Yeah, and that's not something that you're not gonna play. Like, I don't have to convince you. At least I, I don't think. No, I, I, I really enjoyed that game. I don't really have anything ready. I don't have a trade offer for Halo right now. Other than Castlevania. It would have been this, but you also agreed to this already without me arguing or having to like put up a, a ultimatum. So I'm really like out of bargaining chips here. Come look. Oh, I I'm really far away. I don't think I can just come look right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I went to grind for paper and recipes. That's fine. No, I'm sorry, I'm coming as soon as I can, but I'm really far away and I don't see a teleport point anywhere near here, so... <gasps> Shay! Hi, Shay! How are you? Velvethon is still going, let's go! Yeah! This is the final night. I would have finished yesterday, but I needed a rest day because I was kind of burnt. Burnt out. I hope you had a good day! All right, everyone on this bridge is dead. I've tried some Halo games. I didn't really care for them. I haven't tried any of them, TBH. So I oh, don't... Said that. I've never even... Uh, Nyx did. I haven't even seen gameplay of them, actually. I, I have... I've, I've, I have heard that they've got really good story. Hi, Velvet! Hi, Jay! Oh god, the thunder is actually really bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm suddenly scared. Please don't do this to me right now. Not that I'm afraid of the thunder, but I'm afraid of what it's gonna do to my internet. Oh fuck, now the sun is up. <clears throat> In theory, someone could drop 50 subs right now. Oh my god, I mean, in theory, yes, anything is possible. I don't think that's very likely, though. Uh, but I also advise against that because I want everyone to be fiscally responsible. <laughs> but arguably, yes, that is a small chance possibility. <laughs> Is there any chests in here? Because if there's no chests... Although I want to just break their shit. Sometimes when you just break the barrels, you get something. Oh wait, there's a chest. Oh, there's two! Never mind, we're staying. Oh, there's three! Oh fuck. Drop an ultimate, drop an ultimate! Um, I might have almost died. But I lived. Because I'm better. Yeah, I can shit on! Alright. <gasps> San! Hi, San! Welcome in! I hope you had a good day. San Tinnitan, hello! And San. Did you know for. Oh my god, no! <laughs> That's a lot of money! Catherine! <laughs> That's a lot! No, no, no! You could keep Velvet here forever. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> I want to go get those chests. That's me. That's you. Oh, I'm burning. <gasps> I want to go get this one. 
wonder if I have enough paper now. Mm. I'm getting paper. I'm getting paid. With paper. Alright, where am I? I'm in the very corner of the map here. I know that it's some some area over here is the plate the plant lady. I don't quite remember where though. Oh my god, wait, I can't believe I almost missed this. There's a, there's a big chest back here, a locked one. <gasps> Unlimited velvet stream sounds like a pretty sweet deal. Oh no, you guys would for sure get sick of me. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <gasps> ah, the forge! Wait, do I already have the forge flooring? I think I do. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be a new recipe. Fuck! I got so excited. How goes the Velvethon? It's been fun so far. I've had a good time. I hope everyone else has as well. For 14 subs, you could get Vel to play Apex. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. It's gonna be atrocious. <laughs> Apex. Vampires don't need to sleep, right? <laughs> I mean, arguably true. Arguably. Depending on the lore, I think everybody... Some people write the vampire lore a little differently, you know? In Twilight lore, they didn't have to sleep. <laughs> we could never get sick of you. Oh, I appreciate that, Dylan. Oh, I almost died. I second? Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. APG legging. APG leggings. So I have forge flooring. Yeah, we have forge flooring. Which I also just got a recipe for again. A sulfur quarry? Wait, I'm gonna die out here! Oh my god. I almost died. Hold up. Sanguine regeneration. Oh my god, the sun again! It's almost nighttime. I'm gonna hide in these trees until From it's nighttime. Veins, this is dangerous. If you get really hurt, don't vampires have to sleep to heal? Actually, I don't know. I mean, yeah, probably. I feel like that makes sense. If you go in your coffin, conceal yourself, and sleep, that's probably good. That, that could probably heal you. I third. Oh, thank you, Shay. I think drinking blood also works. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd hope it would. She just said it. Sanguine regeneration. Yeah. <laughs> in this game, for sure. Um, I love the sanguine regeneration, except for when I'm in combat, and then it, do it only lets you load up, like, it only lets you heal up a certain amount, and I'm like, damn. I kind of cringe, but I understand it. I respect it. I guess I should probably make potions in that case. I just haven't bothered to. So, how does the flooring thing work? So, um... The f in order to get the floor bonus, you have to put down the floor in like an enclosed room. It doesn't have to have a door. It just has to have, you know, like at least four walls up. And then you put the you cover the whole floor with that flooring and then any processors that you put in that room that match that flooring, you get the bonus where it's like 25% less materials are used in processing. So like if you're using a forge flooring and you put forge flooring in a room you should Whoa. put forge items in there i did it nice it's actually really nice i think it's helpful pooks oh pooks thank you for the five gifted subs what the heck thank you thank you also hi pooks how are you welcome in hello hello how was your day Oh no, I cry. Here I thought Sims would have taught Velvy that sun and vampires do not mix. <laughs> Apparently I didn't learn from my previous traumas. <laughs> Gasrin, thank you for the head pat. Oh my gosh, Minty got a sub. Sen got a sub. Congrats on your uh, Velvet emotes, everybody. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I'm finally back at my computer. <gasps> Welcome back. I've been touching grass this past week. Oh my gosh. So brave of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so brave. So brave of you is crazy. 
I hope that the grass touching has been fun, though. Just for that, I won't bomb Pooks this time. Oh, Shay. <laughs> Pooks still bombed you back. <laughs> what does that feel like? Yeah, actually, I haven't touched grass in a minute either. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I gotta update my points. Pooks, thank you. That was 96. Thank you, Solvent. Chat, we're 11 away from Apex Velvet. Oh my god. Pooks has also earned herself a court noble role. Let's freaking go. And now we're at 96. Let me update the point totals. Oh my god. Dylan, thank you for the five gifted subs. What the heck? Thank you, thank you. You guys. Oh, we're back at three hours. Three hours. Sell your soul to the No, crew. don't listen to him. Oh my goodness. It was fun. You got good food and nerd merch. Oh, that's the best. I love getting nerd merch. It brings me joy. I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, Dylan, thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Hello, can you hear me? Am I here? Am I back? Oh, now the live thing worked. Am I back? Yes, ma'am. Wait, was that in response to me saying hold or can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, you can. Welcome yeah, back. back. Thank you. Hi, poor boy, Dylan. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. I, I hate I hate that I called it. I was like, wow, you know, the storm sound particularly loud. I hope it doesn't fuck this whole thing up. <laughs> and then it did. But uh it was it wasn't even just the internet, it was like the whole power flickered, so like my whole computer turned off. But then it just it it makes me mad because it was a quick flicker, so it turned off and then immediately came back on. But then like it obviously took a second to reconnect to the internet, so I had to restart my computer anyway. There's usually like, if you make it back within 90 seconds, your stream doesn't drop, but I, I obviously took longer than the 90 seconds, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Fortunately though, it looks like the timer paused in the in the shutdown, so we didn't lose time. Um, I'm so sorry guys. We can see and hear you. Okay, good, good. Don't scare us. I'm sorry. I hate that that happened. You returned. I did, I did. To all, congrats on redeeming first. I got scared. Me too. I was like, man, things are going so well. <laughs> Jalal, Jalal, congrats on redeeming. Jalal is here too. I'm taking my opportunity. Damn, Solvi got outed. Jalal double dipping. I sure am. <laughs> yeah, fuck those League of Legends players. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> all right, well, um, before I hop back into the game, which me obviously crashing booted both of us, I want to say a huge thank you again to Pooks and Dylan who had just given five subs each and I was just about to update the point totals when everything went down. So let me do that now. 
Luckily, the time did get added to the timer. Um, or did Solvent already do that, though? Hold up. No, it's, it's at 91 right now. Okay. Unless you're talking about a spreadsheet oh, okay. that I don't have access to. I sent it in the mod chat. You could. Oh. Although I think I maybe have to give you access, but you could have requested access. Anyway, beside the point, Solvi has the correct count, so thank you so much. So now I can update this. W watermelon trip? Because it was 91, and then Pooks gave 5, so that's 96, and then Dylan gave 5, so that's 101, right? And that's what Solvent has, so that's what it is now. Okay. Now we're at 101. <gasps> Shout out Solvi for keeping that uh, record. Oh my goodness. We're four away. Four away from what? Oh, from Apex? Apex. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Now let me make sure I do this. I don't know what to spell, Jesus. Don't worry, I got watermelon while you disappeared. <gasps> watermelon is nice, very refreshing. W Solvi, <laughs> thank you, cause I can. Thank you, you can and you should. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, give me a second here to get myself uh, reacquainted with everything that I have open right now. I make sure everything's working as it's supposed to. I'm so sorry again. Okay, so we did that. We're at 101. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, now we're back in action. Timer is counting down, there we go. Everything is fixed. I'm sorry again for that. Uh, I can't promise that it won't happen again because I, I still hear it raining. But like before, if it happens, I will get back up as soon as possible. So thank you guys for being patient and waiting. Damn, I hate that that broke up the VOD, bro. <laughs> <laughs> These VODs are going to be so difficult to put on YouTube now. <laughs> I cry. Kazrin, thank you for the moral support! Alright, I'm going to open the game back up again now so we can get back to what we were doing. I was on the grind, man. I was on the grind. <clears throat> what were you in the middle of doing? I was clearing the forest in my yard. Oh, okay, so at least you'll be in a safe place. At home, you know? Mm-hmm. Let me... Refresh to anybody that was lurking. Might need a good old refresh. Although a new live ping went out again anyway, so that's fine. All right. Okay, I'm loading back in. 
Oh man, okay. I lost my pin message too. Damn. What if I scroll up far enough? <laughs> no, it's too gone. It's too far gone. Okay, I'll just make a new one. I really should have made a command, but I didn't. Anyway, did I, what did I miss? When I went down, let me see. Um... We were six away from Apex. Let's freaking go. Uh, what, we're, we're four away. Oh, now we're four away. That's true. I was so worried I wasn't going to be able to make it to donate, so it was the first thing I did. Poogs, thank you so much again. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's keep Val forever and ever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I crashed. Rip. So close. <laughs> I just got here now. Pooks, I'm sorry. Oh no. Thank you guys for hanging on though. I appreciate it. Okay, there we go. SCP, hello, hello. Welcome back. Post crash. Yeah. Let's go, SCP. SCP! SCP! Oh my god, thank you for the gifted subs! Four gifted subs! Does that does that hit us? Yeah, I play Apex. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I guess I have to play Apex now, but that also means that Solvent and Jalal have to play with me so that I can carry me. Yay, WSCP, thank you! The Apex stream is we cannot end until we win three games in a row. Wait, what? In a row? That's impossible. There's no way. Not with That's me not on the team. Impossible. It's basically like you guys will be playing duos because I, I can't. You can't. No, you can't set us up for that kind of failure. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? There's no way. I, I would be lucky to win one game in the whole stream, let's be honest. Or I thought we would do something like Velvet gets at least one kill or something. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me I'm making a new pinned message. It's SCP, thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you, I so appreciate it. And everyone else also appreciates it because now I gotta play Apex. <laughs> oh my god, I have to reinstall it. I had uninstalled it for a period of time because I was like, I'm never gonna play this again. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, SCP. I'll if try Velvet to do my best. 200, she'll play Warzone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that was never on the table. What the heck is a Warzone? I don't even know this game. <laughs> what? Call of Duty Battle Royale. Oh my goodness. Now he's making ex extra things. I've never heard of Warzone. I mean, Actually, I've heard I of it, but it. okay, but I I didn't know that that was ever a thing that we you wanted me to play. <laughs> All right, I gotta update this. Give me a second. Uh, I went on an adventure today. I don't think Solvent is back yet. He hasn't updated this. We were at 101, and then SCP gave out four. So. We're at 105. Counter Strike 2 gold? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Nobody wants to play that game. 105. Okay, hold on. Hold on while I fix the point goal. Did you make it back in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay. I'm chopping some trees. Okay, 105! Oh my god, I can't believe this. 
We're at 105. It's wild. I'm back to three and a half hours almost. Okay. ZB, thank you. Nico Pear got one. Salt VT got one. Heck yeah. That hits the apex indeed. <laughs> Big W. Oh gosh, that should be an interesting one. Is, is 049 your favorite SCP? Oh, I'm also interested to hear. Counter Strike 2 goal. <laughs> what is Counter Strike 2? Where's... CSGO, but it's CS2. Oh, I see. Where's SCP? SCP gifted you a sub, Nico Bear. Congrats. At this rate, Velvie is never allowed to end. <laughs> this is very much like what we talked about, the Attack on Titan, where they kept saying the final season, final part. And every time I go on, I'm like, this is the final day. <laughs> Velvathon, the finale, night three. <laughs> That's funny. All right, is everything working again? Yeah, everything is working again. Can we hear and see the game? Now we can. The, the prophecy is coming true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you back in the game? Did I already ask that? Yeah. I'm okay. For you. Okay. Okay. Everything is still in my inventory. Let's freaking go. <sighs> okay. I think all all is back to normal now. Small hiccup. All is well in the world. Small hiccup, but uh, we keep going. We got three hours back in the clock. Let's go. Now, I don't know if we'll finish that today, but <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I love this emote. Thank you. I also love Dancing Velvy. She is my favorite. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you, Nico Bear? Welcome in. Do you have a favorite SCP? I don't think I'd be able to say because I'm not really well versed. The only... um. The only, I only remember a few from the brief amount of times that I played SCP Containment Breach. And I remember there being that one SCP that you couldn't look at in the, f or like, or you had to look at him to keep him away, right? And then another one that like, I don't know, followed you in the shadows or something. I don't really remember a lot of them, so I don't know if I can declare a favorite. TBH. Do the do the monsters in What's the crying one that always chases you? I don't know. I feel like that counts as a lot of them. <laughs> no, like that one is like it's like crying and sobbing while it chases you. It's like terrifying. Um, do the monsters in Lethal Company count as SCPs, or is that just like they're inspired but not the same? I think they're inspired but not the same. Okay. Doing very bien. Oh, good. I'm glad. Not a big fan of SCP anymore, but it will. I will never change the username. That's fair. That was your favorite. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what was 49? Or 049? Nico Bear, thank you for the head fats. There's a lot of explosives in this area. I don't know if I want to be around all of these uh, NPCs that have explosives. Oh, they dropped glass though. That's nice. If I if I blow this up, is it gonna explode? It is. Oh wait, that's kind of sick. It took down a tree for me. Wait, I didn't have to chop that. Game changer. I kind of just want to see if there's any chests. I'm all about the chests right now. I don't see any. Your 49 is a plague doctor. Oh, that's cool. Plague doctors are pretty cool. You know, funnily enough, there is a cosmetic pack for V Rising. That is kind of like Plague Doctor themed. I don't know, it's kind of like green green vibes and uh, Plague doctor -y. Yeah. 
I do see a chest. Haha. <laughs> Plague Doctor, I was a big fan of. SCPs back in 2015. Oh, nice. I did not know of SCPs until... Until, like, 2022 when I started streaming and I played the game. Oh my god, wait a minute! This is where Clive is located?! I guess I should have figured that when I was all the explosive stuff around. Okay, well, I didn't intend to fight Clive right now, but I guess I'm here, so I'm fighting Clive. I'm not here. I know. It's okay, I'll fight him again. He doesn't really give you anything that I need right now, so that's why I was, like, holding off. And he's kind of annoying. But he's also a level 30, and I'm 41, so I got this. Shit, it's just a bunch of explosions. Man, this is why I don't like Clive. Y'all already know I own it because I have the sub control. No, um, I, I've also debated getting it just to like have them all because it's so worth. <laughs> it's okay, in this case, it's so worth it because the game is so good and the cosmetics are so good. Oh, now the sun is out, so I'm kind of fucked. Clive, yeah, all my homies hate Clive. He's so annoying. Damn, and it's daytime. I need to heal like desperately. I actually might die here. I don't want to. Uh... Why does it take so long to use a, a, a healing potion? Like, actually. Why is that such a delay, bro? Ah, oh, please! Please! Oh, fuck! I died! I was almost dead! Wait. Where are you? There's no teleport near- well, there's a way gate right here. I don't know if you'll make it to me in time. Oh, yeah, you you're out there. I can try. I'll wait then. Damn. Fuck Clive. All my homies hate Clive. When are you going to romance Dracula? I would love to, but I think in this game we have to kill him. <laughs> in this game you got to kill him because he's not a nice guy. And he's not fixable. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so mad. Like literally he was almost dead and now he, he's regened, but. I'm coming. Honestly, while you're here, we'll just fight him together and you can also get Clive's stuff. He's, uh... Well, I'm gonna die to the sunlight. He's level 30. What does he give you? He gives you the minor explosive box. Consumable. The alchemy table. I mean, the alchemy table is important eventually, but, like, I don't think I've ever even used it. And then a chaos... Well, I would like the chaos spell point, actually, to be TBH, because I like chaos spells. But... Yeah, I was like not looking forward to doing Clive, and this is why I want to do Pelora for all the garden stuff. She's just really far away from where I set up my castle. Finn literally just gives you the fishing pole, so that hasn't even been a priority for me either. I want to do Pelora and Quincy. And I mean, the only reason I'm doing Clive is because I just happened to wander into his space. <laughs> I didn't know that. I kind of forgot that he was here. The sulfur quarry, this should have been a clue for me. He was like one hit away. I know! Like, if the, if the sun wasn't out, I would have I would have nailed this fight. But I was just taking so much extra damage just because of the sun, and there's like hardly any shade spots here. So that's what fucked me. But if it was nighttime, I would have won this in one go. I'm 100 meters away, I'm coming. Um, uh, damn, I think you'll make it, for sure. I'm holding out hope. I've got like 20% of my bar left. Are you in a safe spot? Um, no. Wait, wait, look, I see you, I see you, I'm right here, I'm right here! These two dudes, wait for them to pass. Oh my god, you can get me. I don't see you. Come down these stairs, come down the stairs, come down the stairs! 
I'm right here. How He's... do I do this? Oh man, I'm not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. Yeah. Damn. Well, you stay here and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna fight Clive anyway. Because <sighs> now I have to come back and get my stuff. <laughs> Good effort, yeah. If those two guys weren't there to like immediately ambush him, he probably could have gotten me. But he wasn't going to be able to revive me with them in the way. I'm zooming, I'm coming. What level is he? He's like 30. What are you right now? Um, 23. We'll be fine. He's not hard. It's just a lot of dodging because he throws down a lot of explosives. And it's almost nighttime, so we'll be fine. When you have me here, we can do it. Wait a minute. Did I grab from this chest? I didn't. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to fight y'all. I just want to rob you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the goods. Tee -hee. Have a nice day. The Rising seems very fun. Added to the wish, wish list. I so wholeheartedly recommend. Definitely fun. Fun by yourself. Fun with friends. It's pretty chill. I mean, sometimes the fights can be a little challenging. But if you're over level, you grab your inventory? No, I think I have to grab it. Um, you can do it, you know, if you're properly leveled and have the right equipment. And then the decorating is fun. I just like the atmosphere, the ambiance. The, the soundtrack is really good. I, I could I could talk all day about how good this game is. <laughs> but I definitely recommend not sponsored. I just love the game. I'm almost there. And it's nighttime. We're taking you down, Clive! This is revenge now! Stinky. Stinky Stinkerson. I'm here. Wow, my inventory is like fucking packed. Alright. There's Clive, you motherfucker. Let's get him. I would keep a distance and you since you have a bow, you can use the bow from afar. Cause he really just drops a lot of bombs and like runs a lot. Cause he's annoying like that. Yeah. I'll focus Clive and then you focus his little guys. Hey, Belle? Yeah, what's up, Cashman? Fuck you, Clive! Fuck, he keeps dodging my spells. He's so messy. Get me out of this stupid trap. Oh, I died? Shit. He's almost dead again. Wait, I think I got this. My ultimate. Fuck. You got this. He keeps dodging my spells! He 
He's almost dead! Yeah, you asshole! Where are you? I'll come get you and then we'll we'll suck him. We'll give him the good suck. Before he like regenerates. Did you know we finished 70% of your goals? We did! You guys! I'm so honored! Thank you so much! Extract his blood! Yeah! <laughs> Suck that man off with your boyfriend. <laughs> what is it? What is the saying? If you suck together, you stay together. I don't think that's the saying. I think it should there be. There is no sense in my inventory. <laughs> the fuck is unstable prism? And what? Uh, hold on. Okay. Hold on a second. What is that? Is that a recipe? Um. Oh, it's a little jewel thingy, isn't it? You could have that. You should have that, because you probably... Maybe you could use it. I already have a bunch. Hey, yo! <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of hot. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> it's very fitting for vampires, I feel like. Oh, my blood reserves run low? I should probably drink you, then, instead of just killing you, huh? Alright, sure. I always forget to do that. My bags are filled. My inventory is full! No! But I need all of these things! I gotta go home now. But at least we killed the boss. I did not expect to come out here and take down Clive, but it feels good that we did. Good job. I mean, I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. Ah, uh, you're right, I died. No, you definitely helped. I couldn't have done it without you. When I was here by myself, I died. It was teamwork. Now I, now we can go back to that teleport and go home because my inventory is full. Oh, no, we gotta probably go back the way we came because this is like a dead end. I'm gonna mark the teleport point. Yeah, I just did. Actually, you head home. I'm gonna go to this merchant. I have coins on me and see if I could get something that we don't have. For the research desk. The grind never stops. Then when I do go home, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> The storm seems to have stopped. I don't hear it anymore, so hopefully we'll be good for the rest of the night. Where you going? Hmm? Oh, you're going to that merchant. Never mind. You're right. Okay, let's see. What does he have? Already know, already know, already know. Already know. Oh, okay. The Grim Ranger leggings he's got. The copper spear. Oh, I don't really care for the spear. Yeah, the spear is weird. Yeah. I've never made the spear. Purple did not recommend the spear, so I was like, I'm not wasting my resources on it. I like the bow, but the main attack, you have to stand still for it, which is kind of sad. True. Stand um, still and charge it up. Let me see, what can I drop? Oh, I guess I could drop this. There's just three of them. I'm gonna get the Grim Ranger. What was it? Did you learn something? Me? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, I thought I saw something here that was unknown, and now it says known. Unless the goods just changed. Oh, I think they probably just changed on me. Okay, well, I'll get the gloves. That's all I can afford with the coins that I have on me right now. That's fine. Okay, now I head home.
I got a book though, so I can learn something. Oh? Yeah, take it to your desk. I'm actually gonna just teleport back to your place and learn this, this thing at your desk as well, so you just already have it and so do I. So if you just see me pop up at your place, don't be surprised. Okay. Is this? Nope, I'm going the wrong way. All right, I marked the, the way gate on the map and I'm still getting lost. Love that for me. Belvi is the cutest. <laughs> no, I'm a mess. <laughs> Thank you though. Thank you for saying so. All right, I'm just gonna show up here. Knock knock, it's me! Oh, you put it under a roof! I'm safe! Oh my god, we Look, I'm so proud of him! Look, he's got rooms, guys! Oh my god! He's all grown up. He's got rooms in his castle! Oh, I have the gloves. Ta da! I finished the Shade Walker outfit for us. We're missing some structures. I really want to get the rest of the weapons. Fuck. Wait, how does the how does the book even work? What do you mean? It says take it to a research desk to unlock a new technology. Yeah, but it oh, might. Oh, merciless copper longbow. Yeah, if we already have it, then you know what you do. You yeah, you give it to them, good boy. Give it to the mimic, and then uh, you can get paper out of it. Yeah, I've got some paper right here, too. I'm just gonna teleport back to my place, then. I kind of forgot that I could do that instead of walking! Ah, uh, yes, I am home. I have 19 paper now. Nice. Fuck Clive. All my homies hate Clive. But now I got the alchemy table, so I could build that somewhere. Oh, I need to find an alchemy room! I need to make a room. I want to help Jalal fight Grayson the Armorer because he definitely needs the stuff from Grayson. Uh, maybe when I come back from the bathroom you want to do that? Or are you in the middle of something? I'm not doing anything important. Okay, so let me put my stuff away and then I'll go to the bathroom and we can fight Grayson. That's what we were going to do last night before we were interrupted. <laughs> But I'm gonna set a bunch of stuff to process. A bunch of stuff that I picked up in my journeys. Mm, I have so much stone dust. I don't know what we do with that just yet, but fuck, I have a lot of it. I have enough coins to buy something else too at some point in time from a merchant. <gasps> Apollo! Hi, hi! Thank you for the head pads! Hello, welcome in! Uh, how was your day? I hope you're doing well. Hello, Apollo. Day is just starting, lol. Oh, that's fair. Uh, let's freaking go, then. <laughs> About to be on that super grind. Oh my goodness. Good luck. You got this, I believe. Grinding what? I'm gonna take a guess and say Apex, or maybe Rocket League would be my next guess. X I can see X Defiant, Apex, Rocket League, Naruto. Naruto? What is there to- watch the Naruto. Oh, I was like, what is there to grind on that? Well, there's video games too. Apex, X Defiant, then some Rocket League. Wow, we guessed it! What a medley! <laughs> I hope you have fun, good luck. Naruto is fire? I've heard, I've heard good things. Never watched it myself, actually. I 
have a spell point now. Fuck. I guess when that is done, it will make the sulfur. Hopefully, that's the plan. What? I know, I know. I'm a disgrace. The only like OG classic anime I ever watched was Sailor Moon. But I haven't seen like Dragon Ball or Naruto or any of those. Dragon Ball is overrated. Wow. Fighting words. A lot of people would say otherwise. <laughs> mm, I don't know what I'm doing with glass just yet either. What am I doing with glass? I don't know. I think I'm saving it for my castle heart upgrade, but I don't know what chest to put it in. We'll put it here for now. I've only got one. It's not really re that exciting. Not that exciting. Let's look at these jewels that I have, shall we? And my spell points. Well, hold on. What do I have? I have one for Ward of the Damned, which I don't even have. Nor do I plan on getting. And I have Power Surge, Blood Rage. Increases physical damage, output by 12%. Moves all negative effects. Okay, no, I could scrap that. Oh, but wait a minute. Power surge. I don't have that spell, so I can't just put a thing there, huh? I'll hold on to it then. Gasser, thank you for the hydrate restriction posture check, and thank you for the head pads. Thank you for the self care. I'm gonna just get rid of these two, TBH. Do I have any sawdust in here? A little bit. Not quite enough. Not quite enough, uh, but you know, we'll throw it in the old paper press regardless. Never enough sawdust. I find myself running out of that more often than anything else. I've actually got a really nice store of planks and bricks, though. And I have enough paper for like two more things. But we're gonna pop over to Jalal's and learn it then. Better than running out of blood? So true. I guess I'm gonna spend this here because... That's... That's the only other point I have. I'm not gonna use it though. I'm not gonna use it, but might as well put it there. And we'll lock a jewel away there. Okay. I'm coming over. Okay. Have you heard that there might be a Subnautica 2? No, I didn't know that. Oh, I refuse to play the first one, so I'm not playing the second one. <laughs> well, I mean, the first one was pretty popular. Do you not like... You don't like water... The ocean. I mean, it's like a horror game. Also, there's paper over here. Okay, hold on. Then, um... <gasps> I discovered simple garden planters and oh the merciless copper mace nice I want to get us the axes too Do you hear me? Yeah We need to fight Grayson so that you don't have to do this anymore But I'm gonna go to oh. the bathroom So you don't I'll... have to do what anymore? You'll have like designated storage for tailor items, so you don't have to like make a bunch yeah. of these and then label them. Although that's really cute, and I I think I it's mean, cute look, that you here. did that. Come here. Look at me. Look. Oh, look! He learned. He put the flooring. Oh, I 
so proud of him. Look at him. <gasps> As he beat and gave the head pats. It's so good though. Oh, were you a fan? I've never played it, nor I guess had any interest. I'm not. I'm not afraid of the ocean, but like, I don't know. I guess I have a respect for the ocean. I'm like, I won't mess with you if you won't mess with me. <laughs> it's an early access player. Oh wait, that's sick. That's so cool. Did you see a lot change about the game, like, throughout the early access period to full release? Let me see if I can make the mace. Mm, we're missing three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine things. Oh my god, so close. Topaz, whetstone, and leather. Topaz. Whetstone and leather. <clears throat> it changed so much since incredible. Also, at how much the devs cared about what the community had to say. That's so nice. I love when devs do that. I totally understand now the concept of early access, but I feel like it works best when the devs take that time to listen and implement community feedback. Yeah. There's a lot of games that, like, for example, Battlefield 2042, when it was coming out, they actually hired a bunch of like big content creators and asked their opinions. I was watching a video recently that, do you know who, um, what's his name? Shroud, do you know who Shroud is? Mm, I don't think so, no. Okay, well, Shroud is like one of the most popular and most like well respected like FPS gaming like people because he's just like insane at everything my gear level is not level 20 scp knows them <clears throat> um, but they um basically they they said something along the lines of like they asked for all their opinions and then they were like yeah like what do you think about all this and they told them all their opinions just for dice to completely ignore them and like do exactly what they were originally gonna do anyway that's and they were like stinky. you paid us money for our opinion and then you ignored us and the game was ass on release yeah see that's wrong you said they did it right with Sonatico. Oh, that's good i'm so glad i feel like they did the same thing with um the rising you know they gave it the attention it deserved Tater, hello, hello. Ain't no way is that the Velvet VT. It is I. Hello, welcome in. I hope you had a good day. I'm gonna take 40 coins with me because that's usually how much it costs to buy something from a vendor. And I don't have enough for more than that. Okay. I just got home from vacation a few hours ago. Oh. I hope you had a good vacation. I'm sorry it's over now. I know that's a rough feeling. <laughs> I am gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then when we come back, we're gonna do Grayson. Okay? Okay. And you're in charge while I am gone. Take care of um, everybody. You actually just go to a BRB screen. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll be right back. Nice to be home, but sad I had to leave my friends behind. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully you can see them again soon. I'm gonna BRB real quick for a bathroom break. I'm gonna run an ad that we can have some more uninterrupted time when we come back. And then we're gonna fight a boss. Let's go. I'll BRB.
Hello, hello. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, am I? <laughs> I, was, I was like, where's the model? Where's the model? I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Gasher. Thank you, Dylan. I was about to send out a search party. <laughs> You would have found me in the kitchen looking for snacks. <laughs> Welcome back, Belby. Thank you, Zavi. Let's see. Let me get back in with the boy. Hello, I'm back. Hello. All right. Welcome back. Thank you. Lucy was afraid of the storm. She doesn't like storms. Oh, baby. I know. She she cracks us up though because she doesn't really like being consoled. My mom said that she tried to like hold her and tell her, "Oh, it's okay." And Lucy like didn't want to be touched. Like she kind of just stayed at the edge of the bed, ready to run. Like her fight or her flight kicked in, and she was like ready to fly. <laughs> she didn't want to be held down, or pet or anything. I'm like, damn, what am I gonna do with you? I love snacks. Me too, me too. You just been in 3 a.m. snacks? <gasps> nice. 3 a.m. snacks are the best kind of snacks, actually. I actually get really hungry at 3 a.m. I could have damn. a whole meal. <laughs> I usually do have a whole meal at 3 a.m. I know. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Poor Lucy, poor baby. I know. I I'm so sad. I we haven't had, we haven't experienced too many thunderstorms since Yettinger, so I wasn't sure. But how she react? But now that we're starting to experiencing them, we're seeing that she gets really unsettled by the thunder sound, not the rain no. sound, but the thunder sound. Which I mean, understandable. It's kind of scary for small animals. Same as my cat. She gets scared, but. Or they get scared because, but being, blah, blah, I can't read! <laughs> get scared, but hates being consoled, so I just let her do what she wants, even if it means hiding under beds. Oh, see, it's so tough, though, because I want to console her. I'm like, please let me hold you, let me pet you, let me tell you everything's going to be okay. It breaks my heart. I want to be held, but I'm scared. <laughs> like, why won't you let me hold you? <laughs> Man. They really are like children. You can't control them. <laughs> I really wish she could just talk. Sometimes I'm like, I know you have things that you want to say to me. And I wish we could just have a conversation. She tries. I swear she does. She barks at me in all sorts of ways. And I swear she's trying to communicate. Like, like with words. All right. What are you doing? Are you ready for a battle? I am. Is that really the... Hang on. I'm coming over. She oh, is, and she I will also try to communicate you. with her facial expressions. Oh wait, that's so funny. They're like, they're really like little people with personalities. Do you understand this? Woof woof bork snarf woof. <laughs> I don't speak dog yet. I wish I did. You're level what now? Um. 27. Let's go! Yeah, I upgraded my armor and I've got all copper weapons. Oh heck yeah, nice. wait for sundown and then we kill. Yeah, it's almost there anyway. You're tracking Grayson? Yeah, I have been. Wait, okay. Grayson? Grayson the armorer. It's the same person we were tracking last night, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just double checking. Yes. Okay. Because you're better at following the blood trail than I am, so I'm going to follow you. <laughs> yeah, it tells me exactly where to go, so... I know, but for some reason, I, I have a hard time track like following that trail. I don't know why. Hmm. 
I need to remove that poll that's in my Discord because I actually thought I already had Ghost of Tsushima, but apparently I didn't buy it when I thought I did, and I don't have the money to buy it now, so I can't play it when I come back. Well, that's fair. Jalal did yellow lights in his castle. It's so cute. They're gold. Oh, I'm sorry. Gold. My bad. My bad. Gold. Velvia has become good at V-Rising. Your training with purple has paid off. <gasps> I know! I learned from the best. <laughs> she has guided me in the ways. Are you ready? I am ready. They are. I was Wait, able to tell what? what my cats wanted, either by their meows or by their looks. Oh my god. I love that so much. I mean, I don't I'm know why. I'm convinced that this teleport is close to the, the vampire wake it right here. Uh, where is it right here? I'll have to wait to see yeah, where you see, went. Yeah, see, now I'm very close. Shit, wait, I gotta see where you went. I'm at the, the left oh. most one. Okay, I see it. I don't know why I'm so surprised that, you know, animals could have little, like, human personalities, but it's just so amazing to see. I've never really... I mean, this is my first time having a dog, so I never had experienced it before. She will literally, like, she can do side eye. She can do the guilty face. She gives me sass. She smiles. She looks sad or mopey. Like, it's so funny. I'm like, wow, you're, like, really a little person in there. <laughs> Dead. The kitty shakes his tail when he's super excited. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. We just got a bunch of paper. Nice. Wanna give up? My blood restore. Mine is that body. too, both of my cats. Aw. That's so cute. Oh, behind us? How dare you incapacitate me. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, I should have eaten him because... Oh yeah, I'll drink him because he's 12%. I've only got 10. Sanguine regeneration. I like that, uh... The armor you went with. What was it? The knight? Was it the Grim Ranger or knight? What was it called? Uh, the, the Grim or Knight, something like Grim that. Grim Ranger set is pretty good. I remember Lucy's side eye photo from when she was like three or four months. Yeah, she was side eyeing even then. I was like, damn. Oh man, there was a guy in here with really good blood percentage, but I think I might have accidentally killed him. Already? There's no way that I was gonna be able to pick him out from the crowd. Fuck. That's okay. I I can't wait to have a prison cell. And like uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um prove myself or like what is it what is a phrase when you like why am i at a loss for this phrase right now i'm about to die this guy keeps fucking shooting me can i heal hold on redeem myself redeem myself i can't wait to redeem myself when i get the prison cell recipe in this game <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't remember that r word Lucy cam stream? I high key have considered it and I would love to do that. Some days an option. I actually wanted to make it like a, a point goal. I think I just have to wait until she's a little bit older because right now she uh I guess rest, gets restless so easily. And she's a she's a barker. <laughs> but I would love to do that actually. Wait, there's some stuff over here. Hold on, I'm picking it up. 
She was born to be a sassy princess. She so was. I love that for her. I'm like, you know what? If this is you, never change. <laughs> she learned from the best. <laughs> it's so funny how they really, really do feel like, you know, they learned from you. All right, no other chests in this area. I'm coming. Just sometimes when you break the barrels, you get stuff too, you know? Mm -hmm. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I should have fucking healed. She's probably too all right now. Yeah, she just doesn't sit still very well. I can heal. From my veins, From my I, veins rejuvenate. I rejuvenate. All right, so Grayson. Well, you fought him before. I'm not gonna. You know what to do. This is him. You're approaching me with those scrap weapons. Wow, that's so rude, Grayson. What the fuck? I've got the tool for the job. You can't stop me. I'll hammer you out. I'm getting rid of all the spikies from the field. Oh fuck! I've got a tool for the job. Got a hammer, you out. Don't hit me! Ah! I've dodged. Let's fucking go. Job. You're so annoying with this. Let me get rid of these. Hammer you out. You can't stop me a hammer you out. Oh, you know what? I always forget to use this. We got him. He's dead! Let's go! Yeah, I feel much stronger already. Heck yeah. I'm so proud! I've got the tool for the job. So enthusiastic. Yeah, he's kind of cringe. <laughs> the boss uh, voice lines are kind of funny. You got a shade wall to the vest? Oh, we might already have that. We can just put it in the devourer. Thank you, Dylan! GG, thank you! Very nice. Now you got all of the recipes for the dedicated storage uh, things. All right, so we fought. You did Keely, Errol, and Rufus, right? Yeah, we've done all the level twenty sevens. And we did all the twenty twenty sevens now. Do we do? We did Lydia. We just did Clive. Um, I don't know where Nibbles is, and I guess he's not really super important right now. The next one is quite literally the fisherman. If you want to do the fisherman, we can. All you get from him is the fishing pole. It's not super important, but. If you're interested in fishing now, then you can, I guess. What is this? What's your level, actually? What's your, what's your strongest weapon with 27? Oh, okay. Ah, we could wait. You should level up a little bit more. I'm gonna look for a merchant. Let me see, where are we? Hmm. 
Are there are only like two merchants in this area for realsies. I'm gonna go visit the other one then. I'm on a mission again to fill out their research desk. Oh, I also had just unlocked the planter ones. I gotta go look at those. Maybe I'll decorate with some. Can you become bear yet? I can. Joel hasn't fought the bear yet, though. Bear was- nope. It was kind of tough, not gonna lie, by myself. <laughs> I think it took me like two or three tries. But yeah, let me show you. I'm bear! Look at me! Look at my furry butt! Hee 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 hee. I can do stompies. I can swap my... My paws. Choo 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 choo. Rare. <laughs> He's so cute. I would be the bear more often if he wasn't so slow. Like the wolf really is the fastest thing you have so far. Bear. <laughs> He's so furry and cute. Never mind the the menacing red glowing eyes. I think he's a uh, friend shaped, for sure. <laughs> Friendly. It's not friend, why friendship? Exactly. Friendship, friendship. Why? I don't understand why my grinder's not working. What do you mean? Like, it's just not doing anything. It probably finished what was in there. No, it hasn't. Oh, wait, everything was deselected. What in the world? Oh, that also I was going to suggest I next. something special. Wow, this mer this merchant has zero problem trading with a bear. I love that. Oh, the sun! Woo! Can I interest you in a little something? Merciless copper spear. Is that really the only thing I can get from you that I don't know? Damn. I guess so. Well, that's okay, because then we'll just free up something else. Let's go back home. Where I'm are gonna... you I'm, well, I'm, I'm making my way there. Making, making my really way downtown. Also, don't forget to to make rings for yourself. That's something that I always kind of forgot, and that helps level you up. Yeah, it's something I'm kind of working on. I just like have a small amount of resources because I've been. If you need anything, let me know. I'm okay. I'm coming to learn a spear in your disc. I learned the spear. Now we're just missing the axes from the weapon section. Let's go. All right, so we had actually recently learned the simple garden planters. I want to go look at those. Back to my house. Do you have any sawdust? Uh, probably. Go check my materials box. Is it called materials? No, it's in it's in the uh, close to my workshop. Oh, I see it. I'm taking your sawdust. I love this flooring. Actually, it looks so smooth and shiny.
All right. We're home. Let's see what we got here. Let's put the sawdust in here to make more paper. We're close to maybe getting another recipe out of that. You have sawdust so today, and taking it all. <laughs> exactly. Today I went to go find some food inside and we had literally nothing. We had like no ramen. <gasps> no ramen. And so I was like, hmm. And my mom called and she was like, hey, it's been a long time since you just like went out in public and like did something just I like, get food. <laughs> Damn, she kind of called you like, out. You know what? You're right. And I'm taking a mental break right now, so I don't have anything to worry about. So I went, it was like a 25 minute drive. I went to one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Ginza Cafe. And they've got hibachi, they've got ramen, they've got sushi, they've got like boba, tea and milk boba. It, it like, it's pretty expensive. I think for just me to eat, it was like $35. Damn. But I got um, strawberry tea boba. <gasps> I love strawberry. Um, strawberry tea boba with the, the like juice boba balls instead of the chewy ones. They kind of just pop in your mouth and it's I just, didn't know that was a thing. Juice in it. Yeah. Um, and then I got uh, eel and avocado uh, sushi roll with Korean spicy broth ramen with um, steak. Ooh. Well, it was beef, but no. <clears throat> and uh, I did that. And then I was still just kind of driving around. And I was like, bro, that's the GameStop I used to go to just all the time. So I went inside. It was pretty. It was a pretty sad sight. There was like nobody in there. Oh, uh, no. GameStop. And, yeah, rest in peace, GameStop. But... But it was fun. I, 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 they were like, hey, can I help you with anything? I was like, no, I'm just like walking around and stuff like that. Just kind of seeing. I uh, had some free time. And uh, the poor worker, she looked so bored. <laughs> was there like really nobody in there? Yeah, it was just me and the worker a little bit. Damn. That's so sad, man. GameStop? Like, I would love- I used to love going there. It was so hype. I was like, oh, I'm gonna see stuff, get things, touch them physically with my hands, you know? That kind of thing. I know getting something digitally nowadays is faster, but... Like, I loved having a physical collection of, like, getting a game and getting it in the case. And having it in my yeah. little gaming cabinet. And I could just see, like... At a glance, like when I went to go play, I said, I want to play a game on one of my consoles. I just open my cabinet, I see all the game cases, and just pick one, you know, pull it out, put the CD in. It was like a whole experience, it's a whole, like, you know, tangible experience that I kind of miss. Now, I mean, um, I guess now you, you turn on your computer and you open up Steam and press play. <laughs> it's different now. Times change, yeah, times do change, man. It's it's wild. It's not quite the same physical feeling uh, when you just press your computer on and then turn on Steam. <laughs> I don't know. Fun. I had a good time. I'm glad. I should do something like that for myself too. I haven't done that in forever. I learned another recipe, but I did it at my desk. I'm sorry, so you're gonna have to come over here. It's okay. I, I was just already downstairs. It's a habit. What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna look at the planters. Oh, I see. Okay. The alchemy table I should definitely make. I need bless blood essence, plank, and sulfur. The planters. Ooh rose bush. And the planters. Stone body. Oh, I'm glad I'm making some. Okay. 
blood essence, plank, and sulfur coming up. I'm getting paper. I used to just like collecting games. Like, I used to not be one to believe in getting, like, the electronic version, you know? I know that's totally different now, but... I liked having a game case. Uh, the only game I ever- I did three games for Midnight Release, and the only one I really remember was Black Ops 2. Which is arguably the greatest Call of Duty game ever made. Um, but yeah, I walked around, they had a bunch of pops, and I sent Velvet a picture of- Actually, I think I put it in my Discord also, but like, it was like, a bunch of plushies of like, Pokemon and Kirby. Yeah. And she had- She also- she, I didn't even see this in the picture, but uh, Velvet pointed out like, there was a- xbox case in the background with uh, lilith on it yeah diablo i zeroed in on that well because first i saw the big old xbox and i was gonna just point it out and be like oh my god lol xbox thing and then when i really like zoomed in i saw lilith's face and i was like wait how did he miss this <laughs> i don't know what it was i just saw a big old box and it has lilith's face on it so I assume it was some sort of Diablo collector edition something or other, I don't know. <clears throat> but it looked sick. It was fun. I didn't buy anything because I'm trying to save money. And I went and walked around. After that, I went and walked around PetSmart looking for potential things for Peppermint Christmas. And... Peppermint. Um, but then it was like, it was like 7.20 and I was like, oh, I gotta go home. Well, I'm sorry you had to come, <laughs> come to me. No, it's with good. <laughs> like I, I really was just gonna sit down and play video games all day, but it was nice to go out and really just kind of treat myself to like, I mean, treat myself to food. I didn't buy anything else, but I was just kind of walking around, having a good time. Yeah, it's nice. Sometimes, was... sometimes touching grass is really, you know, good reset. Yeah, I showered and 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 put on my brand new Texans jersey and had on some, like a nice little fit. Nice. Nice. I had a lot of fun. I kind of want to do that more often. You um, should. So, uh, the only thing that sucks is that in a couple weeks, I'm probably going to be picking up another day at work. So that's going to be one less day I can stream. And I've been debating on giving myself like a rest day every week where I don't work or stream and I get to just like work on projects or play games and, or, you know, whatever it is that I want to do. But if I do that, then I'm going to only be streaming three days a week and I don't want to do that. So I might be doing this thing where I'm doing like a workaround with like times and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is, and I gotta start having a better sleep schedule to do this, shout out Insomnia, but, um, <laughs> I want to stream Monday through Friday, starting at 12 o'clock, and for days where I have to go to work, I just end at 3.30, and then days I don't have to work, I, I just stream until, like, 7 or 8. And then I have Saturday I work, but then that gives me Sunday as just a free day where I can do anything I want. Or rest or whatever. So there'll be two or three days in a week where I'm working and streaming. Uh, but um, I don't really see a problem with that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. You can handle it. And then, honestly, I think... I think the days where I'm streaming only like, you know, three and a half to four hours are great days for me to play story games. Yeah. So that in itself could also lead to the fact that I want to be more variety. So that means that on Monday, Thursday, Friday, 
I can do my like FPS games and then Tuesday, Wednesday can be like story days or something like that. I don't know. Or, you know, whatever it is that I'm feeling, you know, like. You do I'm what your heart a, desires. I'm just afraid that, cause like, I've honestly, ever since January, I've had a pretty decent, like, January, I did this big event at the start of the year. And since then, I've seen, like, I saw an increase in my overall numbers, and I've maintained that. But I haven't really grown or declined much, which is, like, in itself, it's kind of a W, but you want to see growth. The W, because it's not shrinking, right? But it's an L, because you're just kind of stagnating. But I, I'm kind of worried that if I do go more... Or at least 50-50 with variety and FPS, making me basically a, like a full-on variety streamer. I'm kind of worried that the community that I have built is going to not be as interested in that. Well, but. like I've told you, you gotta do what makes you happy and makes sh and what you're comfortable doing and people that really care about you and are interested in seeing what you do no matter what it is will stick around and maybe you'll find new people interested in seeing that kind of stuff too <laughs> so i'm demolishing a big section here because i'm trying to plan out basically what the back half of my castle is going to look like and I'm kind of, yeah. I'm kind of thinking like I want to go with this atrium kind of concept where the middle kind of has this opening for like my garden and plants and stuff, and then maybe that's what I was gonna do. I know, and I'm stealing it, but <laughs> I know it's some. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna execute it exactly. And at some point, maybe like I'm gonna still have a room back here. And maybe have stairs to lead up to a second floor, and then I know I could do a third floor even. So, but then I need maybe like a hallway or a balcony. So I don't know. I'm trying to like clear this area to see how much I have to work with here. Because I'm thinking like, I'm thinking of all the rooms that I need for like, you know, the f dedicated floorings. And I'm thinking in advance of like, I want to have a nice little throne room that is like, has a nice little lead up into it. I need a prison room. <laughs> You know, I need an alchemy room. I'm like a little stressed about the room situation, not gonna lie. But I'm trying to figure it out. When you get leveled up enough, I would like to fight Quincy and Palora. Because they have some important stuff for us too. But I'll wait until you have, uh, gotten you know weapons and stuff I'll, i don't want to move on now at this point to like anything in act two i want to help finish bosses for you in act one and then we'll like get on the same page there's two in at level 35 that i've fought that we'll have to go i'll have to fight again with you the bear and some other guy but they're 35 and i don't think you're there yet right not yet okay, that's so fine you need a basement for us. Oh my god, wait, actually tech, not a, <laughs> don't call it a basement, but I need a prison room and I need a servant room. Actually, you just reminded me. So I, there's like still like quite a few dedicated rooms that I need and I want a nice little garden area. And I'm wondering like, damn, definitely like, uh, the fact that you can do multiple floors certainly helps. So, you know, I could do a sec- I could do a second floor on this half, and I can even branch up to a third floor. So that's nice. And I'm just trying to figure out what that's gonna look like, ultimately. Like... I'm trying to- I'm trying to plan ahead. You're right, it's not a basement, it's more like a dungeon. No, don't call it that either. It's not a dungeon. I mean, for the prisoners, yeah, that's definitely a dungeon. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> but like, you know, I don't want to call it that. <laughs> like, 
Like I'm putting this floor down just so that I see the space empty. I cannot build here. Oh my castle tile limit reached. I can't even do this. Never mind. Um, alright. Uh, but this is not all gonna stay floor. I need to leave this floor here because this is where the tree guy was. And I don't want him to respawn. Alright, never mind. Actually, let's do this instead. We're gonna use that tile limit and put it upstairs. And I, I could- I've created a blood press and I'm making- Put my unsullied hearts in there to make some greater blood essence. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's super important. We need a door here, for sure though. But I do like the idea of this leading into another workshop room. We shall see. I think I want... I think I want this room to be my library. I don't really- see, I don't know how many like library items that they're gonna be. Like, this paper press is fucking huge. I don't know why this has to be so big. But, uh, I know the study is gonna be kinda big too. The research desk right now is small, but the study is big piece. Let's just grab this and move it now. Because these are library items. I'm gonna go here. Library, yeah, that's a library. What about... That's library. So this stuff goes here. I don't know when I'm getting the library floor, probably not anytime soon, but might as well put it here. So that I know this is my library room for the future. This tree is really kind of cramping my style here though, huh? I can make that cute once I get the garden items. I can make a little garden in the front there. I need to make an alchemy room. Maybe alchemy will be up here. I need blood essence though. To make that that a room. Which I have plenty of. I go use bathroom. Okay. Oh, I'm, let me pick this up too. Oh, I left one over there too. Okay. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about being able to put floors everywhere because I know I've seen like some really huge castle builds. You just have to upgrade your castle heart. Like with every level you get a certain number of floors you can put down. I'm only at level 2 so I could put down 140 floors and I could have 5 servant coffins. Um, I have greater blood essence, I just don't have the glass or the planks but I know that's coming soon. So we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself, trying to make too many rooms right now. I mean, I've also made my main room really big, which made this upstairs really big. But in my defense, I just wanted this to be like a grand entrance, you know? And then I'm, I imagine I get other furniture later on that I can really fill this up with. Maybe some other statues or chairs or a fireplace or something. Um, so that's why this room has got a lot of space. I'm debating on if the coffin is even staying here or if the coffin will go in the throne room. I thought maybe I could have a different coffin room versus throne room. It sounds like a lot of rooms and floors though. But the good thing is that you can build different floors. So I just have to build up instead of out. But then, like, this is like the biggest architectural challenge I've ever had in a game. Or I have to figure out how to make like second and third floors and then I want it to flow nicely, you know? But this is so cool. It's so fun to me because I've never gotten to do something like this in a game before. So I think it's fucking sick. I don't know. I've literally got one more floor space here. And there we go. And that's it. I'm at 140. So I could start making this an alchemy section. 
maybe this up here will be my servants quarters honestly because you could have like up to 16 and this is a nice big space i wouldn't mind having the servants be like right up here right in the main area you know prisoners definitely need a separate room then i i don't know what to do with the, the leathering the tailoring stuff then but we're not there yet we're not there yet velvet Let's make this an alchemy room. Uh, da -da -ba -da -ba -da, da -da -ba -da -ba -da, need floors. Alright. Dirt and small, that's fine. I've hit my floor limit, so I'm really. Unless I get rid of the ones in the back, which aren't really. This will not work. Which aren't really doing anything for me just yet. I need more stone. But like I said, I have the floors in the back put there just to keep the tree ant from respawning because I don't want to keep having to fight him. Not that it's a difficult fight, but like... I... I don't want him to come back! He's not welcome, dear. All right, this is a room now. And we'll start preparing this as my alchemy room. Mm, I don't want paper. All right, let me go get the stuff. It'll be bigger eventually, hopefully. So we're gonna grab the table. Actually, all these things, right? Yeah, it's all alchemy stuff. Let me put the table there. I love this part. I love the castle building stuff. I love it so much. <clears throat> the blood press is also considered alchemy. So we put it there. And then the three storage items that I have near it are like kind of filled with stuff that you would I think you'd need with the alchemy table like the herb storage I think you use a lot of herbs for alchemy the consumables and then of course the one that is literally called alchemy storage yeah let's put that there I know eventually there's like a jeweler's thing too, like there's jeweler's furniture and flooring and I'm like, oh shit. There's a lot. This game is very detailed. I don't know what Damien is shooting at. There's like nothing down there. Oh me chill. This works for now. And this one. So now I've finally cleared them out from my front room. Yay! Progress. Progress. We'll put that there. Do I have ingots in my pocket? I don't. I was gonna put up some lamps or some pillar lights. Let me go get some ingots. You can- I don't know what to do with the Devourer. I don't mind him staying in the front, because he just looks cool. I don't use him that often. He's like my pet at the front door. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Mm, I got some stuff that I can throw in the old processor. 
Oh, we got a fuck ton of wood now. Maybe we'll get some sawdust for more paper. Mm, I'm getting papers. Now I have this look in my head. Shit. What did I come here for? Ingots for lights. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, yes. Make more sulfur. And now these are all upstairs. Okay. I <laughs> I get so used to where I put like a storage thing and then I go to move it and then it fucks me up for a little bit afterward because I'm I go to store stuff away and I, I have to find where I moved where I moved the storage item. And then I feel a little lost for a bit. Okay. Let's light up this alchemy room or soon to be alchemy room. Kind of like these lights. They feel very much like they set the mood. Okay. Decent lighting, decent lighting. Let's freaking go. Oh my god! Another section of the room! I'm so excited! Okay, I can put this stuff away. Oh wait, I wanna... Oh, I now that I'm here, let me grab some plant fiber. I wanna play with the planters. Let's see what we can make for downstairs. I need to add more lights to this room too, but I just wasn't sure how I was gonna structure that room, so I haven't continued with the lighting there just yet. Alright, so I unlocked... Garden planters. Mmm. What's that sound? <clears throat> I killed the corpse pile in front of my house and it has not respawned. I'm kind of sad about it because it was like giving me random drops every once in a while. <clears throat> Maybe it just hasn't been long enough. I don't know. These planters are nice. What is it, a hanging one? It's just a noble planter with a decorative cage. This is a tall planter. You know what? Do I have too much going on outside? I feel like they belong outside. I kind of wish you could put something right at the steps here. Nah, no plants outside. We'll, we'll use them for the inside. Uh, that's really tall. That's a cage. Uh... That one has a bat on it? That's kind of cute. I think I kind of like this one though. Let's see. So you put this planter and then these are the parts. So you can add a little swirly sorrel. Or a bush. Rose bush. Well, of course you know we're gonna do the rose bush, because I love roses. Would you look at that? <clears throat> Wonder if I would like that better in this one. Let's see what it looks like in this pot. I do like it better in this pot. Okay. I just don't know where to put it, TBH. Mm. Is it too much? Like right at the front here? I don't want to keep putting stuff in corners. I'll probably move it around a few times. Let's put one here. I like this planter has a bat at the bottom. That's so cute. Well, we gotta put one here too then. What 
the rose bush. Oh, <clears throat> uh, just something small for now. I just wanted to play around with that and see what it would look like. I can't wait to make this blood fountain. That's what I want to be the centerpiece of my atrium. Like, that looks sick as fuck. But that'll be a while because I don't even know what gold jewelry is. So probably an unlockable for a lot later. Do gravel paths count? Oh my god, that's what you use stone dust for? Wait, what the fuck? I have so much of that. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Damien, what are you shooting at, homie? We are inside! I wish I could make more carpets, but I don't have any carpet rolls. I kind of just found some by accident. You know, maybe I should make some hunting trophies for my workshop areas. That could be cool. Shit, I think the bones are upstairs. Yep, okay. The bones are upstairs. Uh, the drapes that I have now are obviously ugly, but I'm excited when I get the pretty drapes. <laughs> Can't wait for the decent drapes. That are, like, not torn up. Although, if you want to make a really, like, worn-down, rustic-looking castle, that's definitely a possibility. The options are endless. I could put training dummies up in the servant area. That'd be cool. dun 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 I- I've made all of the storages so far. Crafting, I have all of this. I have not made the vermin nest yet. Maybe I should. Just so that I have space for it. I think it goes in the... Tla's <laughs> muted, I'm telling. He went to the bathroom! He went to the bathroom, no worries. Tombs are fucking huge. I did not realize how big they were. Like, damn. Could I fit a third paper bread or third grinder here? I feel like I could. I feel like for sure you could fit another sawmill here. I don't really have the need, I feel like, for a third just yet. But the option is there. What do I need? Stone? I actually don't think I've left any regular stone. <laughs> I've converted it all to stone brick. Yeah. <sighs> Oopsies. Okay, well, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait on making the vermin thing because my alchemy room is kind of really tiny anyway. Not ready yet. How's he liking the rising? I think he likes it. He actually played this before I ever played it, and he got a lot farther than I did. Um, I hope he likes it. I wouldn't want him to continue playing if he didn't like it, but I think he likes it. It's it's kind of similar to Diablo, which I know he loves. So I think he's enjoying it. Do I have the best ring I do that I could possibly make at this time? Yes. Uh, I still just need to finish the research desk recipes! Oops. I could make more sculptured wood or painting frames. I guess I just haven't done it. But I very well could. Because I'm seeing it just takes planks. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. What am I doing? What was I gonna do? I'm not making the vermin nest. 
so I don't need the bones. Put them away. Wait, why is this? Oh, is it because I have a balcony now, technically? Oh, it is. Wait a minute. Ooh, I fucked up. I'm gonna leave that. I was supposed to put down a floor there, but I ran out of floors. So I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, I hit my floor limit. Unless I take one away. From back here. Damn, awkward. I kind of forgot. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Maybe that doesn't have to be a floor at all. Just because it's a floor downstairs doesn't mean it has to be a floor upstairs. You know what I mean? But that might be a good place for the vermin thing. I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Uh, okay. I'm not good with rooms, man. I'm not good with planning out rooms and making shapes. I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone. I always, whenever I play a survival crafting game, I always end up making like a square house and a square roof. So I'm really trying to do something different, you know? I think that's why I love so much about this game. It's occupying so much of my brain because I'm really working hard to do something different than I than I usually do, and I'm having a good time. I can't make any more coffins. I gotta save my blood essence. But at least I have a library. Oh, I should put lights in here. Yeah, let's do lights. Kind of like these for the library as well. I kind of fuck with them. It means I gotta move this though. <laughs> Hi, Sen. I hope you're doing well. Are you also on that apex grind? I'm gonna move that there just so that I can put a light here. I really love these candle stands too, actually. I am on that apex grind. <laughs> Good luck, you got this. Ayo Jalal muted. He's in the bathroom, which now that it's been this long, I'm 100% convinced he's taking the poopy. <laughs> he would have been back already, you know? I think. Unless he had to, like, go into the house or get a snack or something. I don't know. He'll be back soon, hopefully. Did he fall in? He got lost along the way. Perhaps. Is he talking to strangers? <gasps> I hope not. He's gotta be careful. Hello. Hello! Hello? He didn't get lost. He's back, guys. No, Peppermint ran out of the fucking camper as soon as I opened the door. No, is she okay? She's fine. I just chased her around the yard for forever. Oh. Uh. Solomon asked if you fell in or if you were talking to strangers, and I was like, I hope not. <laughs> but he returns. <laughs> oh, the hiccups. Sorry. The hiccups. The hiccups. This tree is really fucking with my wall, huh? I gotta fix that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? No! I need more copper. I need five copper ingots. 
I can give you some. It's okay. Copper's not the easiest to come by. I'll just go get it. It actually is. You, If you went to one of the quarries... Why does the paper press have to be so damn big, bro? I feel like it's cramping my style here. Damn. The paper press is like... I mean, I respect that it really does look like a paper press, but it's just so big and square. It's like my maybe my least favorite processor right now. It's fucking with my vision. And I don't mean like my vision, like my eyesight, I mean like the room decor. <laughs> Did we go to get the, um, to kill that stonebreaker guy? I think there's some copper there. Um, I believe it's here. Can you see what I pinged? Where I put a little nope. diamond? I can see it on your map, though. Oh, wait, yeah, okay, it's right there. Okay, copper I think ore. I think that is it. It's the bandit copper mine. Which does yeah, happen, can... have a way gate near it, so pretty easy to get to. Oh, living on a prayer. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a painting. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just one as a treat. I have the special floor for this table anyway, so. It only makes sense. Ugh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to pee again. This is what happens when I hydrate. I have to pee so much. How many frames does it take for one painting? It takes one. Let's fucking go. We're gonna put one here. The other Castlevania one. Why is there also- oh my god, there's trees here too. For fuck's sake, I gotta clear these out. But I can't because I hit my floor limit! I can't wait to go crazy with the picture frames because some of them- There's like really nice picture frames and they're really detailed when you zoom in. Of like locations in the game, it's so pretty. <clears throat> okay, let me go check my paper processor and see if I can earn- learn something. Twenty one papers. Not yet. What do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Do I even have coins? 
I don't think I do. Not enough to buy anything from the vendors. R.I.P. Okay. I'm trying to think what I need of what I need more of. I have a lot of copper, but I'm always gonna need more. I really need a lot of paper. All right, where do I? Where, where am I going for paper? Well, let's go here. Yeah. Well, no, let's go to this one. Oops, I should just press F to hold. Let's let's go here. Because I still need the axe recipe. Yeah, okay. Alright, Earl. Bring it on. You need help? Uh, we'll find out. You're fighting Errol the Stonebreaker. Let me know. I'll come zooming over as fast as my little paws can take me. Right now, I'm assimilating with my fellow wolf brethren. Alright, alright, we're getting violent immediately. Rude. Oh, I should probably feed from you, huh? Yeah. Please tell me there's a treasure chest in here. That would be nice. And can you imagine this is just one area? Like we're just spending all this time in the woods. There are so many other areas on the map. I'm so excited to explore them. Yep, suck my dick, girl. You did it? Yeah. Let's go! Congrats! He's really not a hard boss fight. Yeah. Especially once you're over leveled than him, too. Oh, Keely is here. I did not remember that. I don't really want to fight her. <laughs> I fought most of that with my mace out. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, I mean, they're decent weapons, too. It's not just for, like, grinding materials. Oh, please give me a recipe in here. Please, 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 please. Fable, thank you for the hydrate. Hi, Fable. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, I'm carrying silver? That's okay. I'll live. Man, I might have to teleport back home, though. Fuck, I just got here. I've been lurking. <gasps> Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. I'm out of space. Have you been able to craft yourself an inventory upgrade yet, or no? Uh, I probably haven't been looking, honestly. That's at the leather working table, I believe. I definitely recommend. Oh, I gotta get out of here because I'm taking damage just because of the silver. Fuck. You're looking a little hot. Oh, Keely, please. I wasn't here for you, ma'am. No, please don't die here. Please don't die here. Please go. Get out of here, get out of here! That shit could 
Fuck. Fuck. Ping velvet. I'm trying to heal, but it's also like you're taking damage over time because you're carrying silver. Fuck me. Luckily, the way gate was really close by. Go home. Now if I die, at least I die in my castle. Okay. That was a short trip. <laughs> I have more coins for merchants now, though. Let's freaking go. Oh, damn it. Boom, boom, boom. The sun is rising. That's so stinky. Bro, I can't wait to get the music box too, and then I can play some epic music in my house. That's literally the, the fucking quest I'm sitting on right now, but I have to fight that guy to get iron smelting. Oh, yeah, Fable was here at the beginning because he said hashtag let Jalal in. Oh, I remember. I'm sorry. I forgot. That was pre- that was pre-stream uh, disconnect. Oh, <gasps> I got two more carpet rolls! Ooh, wait a minute, I can put down more rug! Let's freaking go. Can't wait until I can just make that on my own as well. I'm stoked. Alright, what is this for? For blood rage. Uh, oh! For soul damage. So this is better. We should do this instead. Okay. Shalal was let in. He was, he was, of course. I was always gonna let him in. I just, you know, I get a little chatty at first. I get a little chatty. <clears throat> oh my god. More carpets! Let's go! I think I have two. So I have to see what I want to do here. I want to put down like... Middle. And it'll be like a bunch of straight pieces. And then this will be like, you know, turning into the sides. So perhaps I won't have that one. Perhaps we dismantle this. And we start preparing for this shape. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. Oh my god, look at my carpet. That's fucking sick. And I'll have it leading into the rooms. So you're supposed to walk a little bit faster on carpet. Is grass gonna- it I is have, gonna count as flooring, isn't it? I have 44 papers over here. Oh my god, I'm coming! Wait, we could probably make something. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm just gonna bring my paper as well and I'll learn it at your desk so you could just- You just have it. Chandeliers are nice, thank you! Oh my god, I'm so proud! Because it gets very dark, and I mean, you know, I am all for the whole brooding, dark, vampire castle aesthetic. That's definitely a look, but like, you know, I want some light. I want some light. 
I have okay. to pee again, bro. What the fuck? Where are your papers? I am an human. Oh, they're inside the chest over there. I can get a circle. Oh, nice. You said the chest over there. Please, uh, specify. One of these. It's in the Taylor one, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. So I get a castle throne next if I go and get a servant. You won't be able to build the castle throne just yet, but yeah, definitely get a servant. Oh, <gasps> yes, I got the recipe for the axes. Let's fucking go. Okay. Huge. You should go to your table. We got a silver resistance brew also. Oh, I should probably make that. I didn't realize Unless that was a thing. That I had, and that you don't have it. Oh, let me go check upstairs. Oh, you mean at the table? Yeah. <laughs> it's underneath consumables on the right side. Silver resistance brew. No, I have that as well. Does being a servant come with insurance benefits? Well, you don't have to pay for a house, so you get free housing. <laughs> um, you also get free armor and weapons. Uh, you just have to give us eternal servitude. Yeah, and we may send you out on dangerous missions that you might get hurt on, and you have to be okay with that. That being said, I think Fable just signed up to be my first servant. I think so. I think that is definitely Fable entering into people? a contract with you. Um. Yes. <laughs> there was hesitation. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Poor Paul, we're making so much progress. What about me, man? Listen, I'll do solvent first because solvent's a day one and then I'll do fable. I just got to build another thing. Which I can't because I can get another... Can I transport more than one at a time? Uh, no. I I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think you can only transport okay. one at a time. I've got a fuck ton of copper. I had eight full stacks of like uh copper ore. Oh. So. I thought Solvent was the head butler. <laughs> yeah, Solvent will be first. What do I got in here? 32. 35 for so close. I have so I'm naming my other playthrough after chat uh chat members but in this playthrough i didn't really know what to do i named this one damien so like is there anything specific i'm looking for when it comes to finding a servant like do they have to have high blood for a servant i'm thinking since you're going to be sending them out on missions um I don't think the blood really matters, but maybe I will. Okay, correction. The blood probably does matter because the higher the blood, maybe the stronger they are. I I don't really know. Tbh, like especially for the first one, you could always change them out. I would say go for someone with a high percentage. That's maybe like a brute or something. I don't know. <gasps> Lemon! Oh my god! Thank you for the raid. Hi, Lemon. Thank you! Oh my gosh! Tater, hello, hello! Hello again. Pooks, hello again! Tessie, hi, hi! Oh my gosh, welcome in, Raiders! Hello, hello! One to seven water, oh! One to Lemon seven with the resub! Has unleashed the cavern to send you support and say hello, Luckle. Hello! Water, I'm gonna let TTS Luckle, finish this. <laughs> has unleashed the cavern to send you support and say hello luckle one to seven waddle luckle this is such an intense tts message one. right now <gasps> so it doesn't matter what their blood is but what their class is determines how strong they are that sounds or like what they yeah do. the blood will matter for prisoners that you want to make a blood potion from for yourself and like I was gonna say, you could always switch him out. You know, like if you don't like the guy you have, switch him out if you find a better one. I just did it like as soon as possible so I could check it off and like continue to earn recipes. You know, you're just starting out anyway. We'll probably find better people in different areas. But yeah. 
Palaban, thank you for the raid! Hello, hello, welcome in raiders. My name is Velvet. I am a vampire queen and I play games. Today is night three and the finale of our Velvethon, our second annual Velvethon. And we are chilling with some V Rising with the guild master himself, Jalal VT. Say hello! Hello! Lemon, how was your stream? What were you doing? Thank you for the resub as well. Oh my god, 21 months. Thank you, thank you. They're screaming in my ears. I'm so sorry. That was a long TTS message. And also, I believe, adds a point to us. Does it? Yes. Oh my god, Solvin is so fast. Okay, we're at 106. 106! Bum bum bum. There we go. I won and Tater said he did, so I had to prove. Oh my god, I believe you, Pooks. Congrats on the congrats on the win. Words are hard. <laughs> congrats on your epic victory. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> we attempted to speedrun drawing Hoenn. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm saying Hoenn. Hoenn? My computer crashed twice, so we switched to Stardew and then Overwatch. Oh, I'm sorry! I also had a crash, but it's because I lost power, so I feel you on that. I hope the Stardew and Overwatch was fun, though, as well. How far did you get in your speed run? Tessie, thank you for the follow! Welcome to Velvet's Castle. Welcome in. These gamers, Pooks, Tessie, and Tater were screaming in my ears. Oh! <laughs> they were yelling at you! Lemon! I'm sorry! <laughs> That's too funny. It was my flawless victory, I believe. 100%. This oh my is God. my perfect victory! That's right! <laughs> I win! <laughs> Wait, is that like an Overwatch character thing? Like a line? No, that's from, um... Death Note. Oh... We only got to beautify or beautify before it crashed again. <sighs> I wish I knew what that meant, but <laughs> I guess that's not very far. I just got I'm sorry. Oh, <gasps> you keep them for yourself. Well, I'm not even at the point where I can even think about doing carpet, so I can do you now, and in the future you can help me get it. Oh, okay. I feel bad. I mean, you could make carpets for yourself as well. But I don't have the recipe for it. You don't have carpets yet. I don't know. I haven't been thinking about carpet check because like I'm not gonna do anything with like like decorating until I'm mostly done with the castle itself. That's fair. I'm trying to see who you get carpets from. Me yelling never. Oh never. Never pooks. <laughs> Solvent said let's go, Kira. <laughs> like 90 minutes in out of an eleven hour speed run. Oh, that's so early. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Hopefully, you can attempt another day and it'll go flawlessly because I know you can do it. I know you've done these speedruns before. Damn. Yeah, I feel that. We had an unexpected crash today and I was like, ah! Not in the middle of my game! I was in an unsafe area! <laughs> uh, when do you- who do you get carpets from? The carpet roll? I just- no, no, not the carpet roll. Like, I'm trying to look to see when you get the ability to make a carpet. Mm, it definitely wasn't Clive. Was it Lydia? I don't remember. I know the bear gives you fur rugs, but that's just fur rugs. I think you can always make carpets. But certainly there's some recipes that I guess you unlock eventually. Anyway, what was I doing? I was making these axes. I gotta go downstairs. But yeah, we're chilling with V Rising, which if you don't know what this is, it's a survival crafting vampire game. So, you know, very on brand. Wait, how does the dominance thing work? Cause I just used it, it didn't do anything. You have to switch to dominance mode and then, oh, the person that you're trying to dominate has to be like a little less than half health. And then they you- They have to be 30% or less, but I had them super low. You have to like focus them, press R to dominate and give it like a couple seconds and then 
once they're dominated, they'll follow you, and then you just lead them back home. This is V-Rising Velvet's latest obsession that I get Steam notifications for at about 1 a.m. Solvent, um, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand the need for a call out like that right now. Hello? I don't know what you're talking about. I have a totally normal fixation on this game. I'm so normal about it. Like, oh my God, I've never been more normal about something. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head to bed now, but I hope you have a good stream. Thank you for the raid, Lemon. I hope you have a good sleep. Have sweet dreams. Get good rest. Have a great night. Night, Lemon. Normal? Why is that in quotes, bro? It, I'm normal. I promise. Normal amount of love and appreciation for this game. Totally. Not purple. Not purple, too. Being like, Velvet is brooding in her castle. <laughs> Let me brood in peace. Don't perceive me. <laughs> That's funny. I okay, can we also talk about how cute the Steam notifications are though? That it literally says like brooding in her castle or like stalking the woods. Isn't that so cute? I'm just saying. What's mine say? Um, I gotta go look. I don't know. I don't have Steam open, but I can tell you in a second. It says that he's stalking the Farbane woods. Isn't that so cute? So cute. I love it. Anyway. <laughs> night to all night, Belby. Good night, Lemon. Night night. Night night. Oh my god, we said that at the same time. Okay, buddy. Just steal my thunder here. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I fully support this obsession. Thank you, Purple. Thank you. She understands so what is Purple me. Purple gonna play with me. <laughs> it's so good. It's so let's good. Just get let's just get purple in here on this plate. <laughs> <laughs> purple has played so many times. I'm like, I'm honored that I she's don't playing think with has me. A problem with it? <laughs> no, this is this is her favorite game. This is my favorite game. Like I, I was saying this earlier, I literally like I clung to Valheim like immediately, and I was obsessed with that. Remember that game was also keeping me up super late. But I feel like this game is like a whole different thing. Like, I like it way more than I ever liked Valheim. I still liked Valheim, like, you know, but... I'm in the Hamlet Mountains. This game, I heard another thing go off. What happened? Pacifist Cactus, thank you for the raid. Oh my gosh, hello, hello. Welcome in. Wait, I'm in a snowy region. Oh, you should get out of there. That's dangerous. <laughs> I've not even been there. Abort! Abort! No! Too long! Wait! I can't save you! I'm really far away! Don't do that! <gasps> Pacifist! Well, how was your stream? The, thank you, thank Arctic, you! The Arctic bears are also ignoring me in my wolf form. Okay, well that's good. How was your stream? What were you doing? Hello, hello! Welcome to the Raiders! My name is Velvet. I'm a vampire queen. I play games. We're playing V-Rising with Guildmaster Jalal VT tonight as part of the finale of the Velvathon. Welcome in! I when love this that... game. I haven't played it in so long. <gasps> I'm obsessed! <laughs> Cactus also loves this game. Let's freaking go. Purple you said I would totally do... End, <sighs> I was talking. But... Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought... <laughs> I kept... I kept thinking you were finishing and then you just kept going. I know, I'm sorry, because I was catching up on messages and Purple said I would totally do another playthrough with Jalal. Well, that's what I wanted to say. Let's go. <laughs> I have more paper. Oh, let's go. Bring it. Well, I'm going to come to you, actually, because I'll just learn it at your desk. You're welcome to the raid. Stream was good. I was playing some X Defiant. Oh, nice. How do you like it? Jalal wants me to play that. I don't know anything about the game. I don't I don't think you'll like it at all, but I mean, you want me to play it anyway, I see. <laughs> just try it. At least you're honest. I appreciate the honesty. It's it's just it's an FPS game, and that's not generally what you like enjoy. I know that. <laughs> I'm not 
dumb. No, you're very smart. I've been loving it. I'm having so much fun with it. Aw. I gotta watch more gameplay of it and see. Oh, excuse me. Jalal built not one, but two servant coffins. Wow. I only have one. Because I was saving. What is it? takes blood essence. Homie, you should save that. We're gonna need it for later. Yep. Wow, he's just risking it. He's risking it all here. He's really sending out some innocent souls to slave for him. <laughs> oh my god. But, Cactus, if you haven't played V Rising in a minute, I definitely recommend hopping in again because after the 1.0 update, they've made a bunch of cool changes. Actually, they've probably made a lot of changes over the years and I just never noticed because I gave up on the game in like 2022, but it's really fun. It's a really good game. I, I recommend. Uh, I'm gonna learn something at your desk. Let's see what we get. So if Ren is playing X Defiant, does that mean we're finally gonna get Sin to stop lying to me and, and Apollo and actually download the fucking game? I got minor sun resistance brew at your table. Come learn it. What? Cactus said they probably made so many changes. Yeah, no, I, I feel like it's such a smooth game now. And it's so, so fun. Wait, were you serious about the carpet rolls? Yeah. Are you sure? I feel bad. You should keep them. I don't want to keep them. They're yours. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Thank so, you. So, I love you too. Ow! <laughs> Okay, I'm going home to put up so, some carpet. Apollo and I have asked Sin to download it, and you said I will tomorrow, and that's happened twice now. Oh my god, why are we calling out Cactus right now? I'm not calling out Cactus, I'm calling out uh, Sin. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm, okay, that paper goes upstairs. <sighs> X Defiant is like a huge, it's like a six group game, isn't it? You can have like what? six people? Is that the one where it's like six? So it's six players on a team for quick match, but if you're playing ranked, it's four. 4v4. Four four. Hmm. I see. It's a lot of dudes. Where do I get carpet? Decoration. Alright. Ah! Oh my god! I need a carpet. I almost got it to the door. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna turn this around, though. I don't think I am. I would like to have a carpet here, though. Maybe it'll just be a little one. Ah, uh, we'll see. I also maybe I'll move this. I haven't decided if the castle heart is gonna stay here. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Tbh, like it looks fine there. I thought maybe I should move it up one in the middle, in the middle, middle of the room. Uh, you were playing with Apollo I don't know. the other day? Apollo and Sin the other day? I don't remember exactly when this was. It was a couple days ago when we were like, yo, download the game, and he was like, I will tomorrow. <laughs> I love this. And then he didn't. Senti and Cactus go hand in hand. You call him out, you call me out. That's right. That's called a united well, I guess front. I'm, I guess I'm calling your ass out then. But <laughs> if you downloaded it, then good. I last played V it's Rising game, in I May. In May of 2022. Yeah, I last played in 2022 as well. Actually, it was roughly in May in 2022 when we did play. Right? Yeah, because isn't that... That's like when it dropped in early access. And I tried it like amongst... In like the first month of it being out. And then I gave up. And I said... I got distracted by other things. This is why you shouldn't give up on games only a couple hours into it. Um, okay, back the fuck up. Because it wasn't only a couple hours in. We had, like, started, like, three... We I had, like, three different playthroughs that I had attempted to start. But I was just really struggling with the game mechanics at the beginning. It was my first ever top-down game. And I was a baby PC gamer. Like, fresh... Freshly, you know, learning how to be playing on mouse and keyboard... I literally started being a PC gamer in February of 2022 when I started streaming. <laughs> so it was like a lot, I think, for me to learn at once. And I said, I'm not good at this. And so I gave up, which is a character flaw on my part. You know, if I'm not good at something, I shouldn't give up immediately. But uh, I have grown since then. And now I fucking love this game. So yeah. Well, good. 
<laughs> it's called character development. What am I doing? I made the axe. The sin like the sin like uh, X Defiant. People I played with and I ended up destroying all the bosses and did all the content we could, then dropped the game because we were out of stuff to do. <gasps> oh, I imagine they must have added more stuff though. There's probably new things for you to experience. I know there's new areas with new bosses. I don't remember the snow area being there True. when we played. We are five recipes away from finishing the research desk. That's amazing. Amazing. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I don't- I think- def- I mean, I can't speak for the snow area, because I never made it out of the woods. But I know, like, Ruins of Mortium, new. Bloomrot, new. Uh, the mountains, I think, are new. Like, I think the farmlands are the only other- it was like the farmlands and the woods is what the game started with. I don't know about the hills or the cursed forest. But the Gloomrot and the ruins and the mountains are, like, for sure new, I think. And they're huge. They're fucking huge areas, so it's a lot to experience. Hilms, Ruins, and Gloomrot are all new. Yeah, okay, so I was right. The hills, Silverlight Hills is new. The Ruins of Mordium, and then Gloomrot. There's a north and a south. The rest was there at drop. Okay, so the forest, the farmlands, and the mountains. And the mountains is like a small um, area. Oh, you know what? Is that the snow region? The hallowed mountains? I think so. Is everything down here just bandits? Because I'm looking for a village. Um, I mean, in the woods, I do think. Yes. If you're gonna, if you want villages, we're gonna get to villages probably in the farmlands. I guess I'm going to the farmlands. I need to go to the farmlands too, but I also need to fight Quincy. What's your level? I'm dying. I'm itching to fight Quincy because. 27. Fuck. Okay. What do you need to, to like upgrade your shit, bro? I don't know. Oh my god. Alright, I'm coming over. Right now, I just want to get a servant. Oh, Hills wasn't new? That's where you go to farm silver. I see. He needs to go up to Hills if he wants a village. He needs the farmlands and Hills. The forest is all bandits. That's what I thought. Because now me and Purple have started to, like, delve into the uh, farmlands, and we're getting villages of, like, people, and they're all- <laughs> they're kind of funny when- <laughs> We always laugh when you go to attack them, and they're like, my family! It's like, I don't care, I'm a vampire, I'm killing you. <laughs> I- I shouldn't laugh, but it's- it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm coming over. I'm coming over and seeing what's going on. Uh, I mean, on with you. I'm, I'm rocking up into the, uh, the big area above the forest. What do you mean? You're literally going without me when I said I also needed to go there. Oh my god. Well, just teleport to me and I'll wait for you. I'm coming. I mean, I need to both go there and then also defeat this boss to get the iron smithy thingy. I mean, I could probably do it single handedly because he's 37 and I'm 41. But at this point, I was kind of trying to wait for you. But you're not waiting for me. <laughs> I'm, just try I'm just trying to get a villager to come be my bitch, bro. And then name him Solvin. What do you want me to do? Oh my god, Solvin, are you hearing this? What the heck? <laughs> have a good stream. Wanna... I'm going to go eat. <gasps> yes, yes. The next thing I have to do is get a servant. Take care of like, yourself. I'm, I'm trying to do my thing. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you, Cactus. Bye, Ren. I should I should call them Rin instead of Cactus. I'm sorry. I'll remember this. Oh, I'm I going, the, Cactus too, I'm and going the wrong way. Like, just just call her Rin. Okay. You're not going the wrong way. I sure is. <laughs> oh, Wait, so where I'm, are you going? I I'm was above you. I'm you trying. The wrong thing. I'm trying to get there, homie. But you have the wrong thing selected on the map. Yeah, I do, but you know. I wasn't following it. <laughs> Purple. Oh, no! 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 Simon! No! Hi! I didn't mean to run into you. Simon, no, please. Please, ignore me. Ignore me. Don't perceive me. Don't perceive me. Simon, please. Simon. It's okay. It's How fine. Is Simon? Simon is like a red named V Blood vampire hunter. He's the Castlevania dude. I didn't mean to activate him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'm running. I'm running. No, don't, don't. Okay, we keep running. We keep running. I think I, I think I ran, I ran, I outran him. Oh He's my scared. gosh, it's okay. He scared me. He's so powerful. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. Phew. I wipe my brow. I relax. I untense my shoulders. <laughs> He just he's one of those bosses that kind of just wanders around paths and so you could kind of accidentally run into him and I'm like, oh shit. Surprise. Oh. You wanna fight these people? I mean we're already here now. Belvy would not remember this. Belvy will not remember what? I already don't remember whatever that comment was in regards to. <laughs> That's that's how my memory works. <gasps> Quincy the Bandit King is nearby. Oh, to call Cactus Rin? No, I don't remember that. I'll commit it to memory. I'm not I'm really good with names actually, TBH. Crazy point proven. Shut up. I just didn't know what you were referencing because I said a lot of things in the last couple of minutes. I'm a, I, I spoke very fast. Well, I've iron mire. I've checked Armor. off explore the world beyond Farbane Woods. Iron ore. Wolf thread. Oh my god. All the juicy good new stuff for the for the clothes. We are this much closer to getting the dress and I need to get there as soon as possible. I don't think okay, I can fight. Farm. Wait, what? I'm going to the cotton farm over here to our left. J I want a serpent. Joel is so serious about getting the servant. You know that you're gonna have to walk him all the way back to your castle, right? And keep him alive. Watch out for garlic. You'll get stinky. Yeah, we have garlic exposure now. We smell! A lot of those words were of panic, not complete sentences. You know, you're right. Wait a minute, did they set fire? Does that mean I don't get to collect any of the cotton? Oh, no. oh what the fuck? Man. All right, well, touche, villager, touche. I'm gonna rob your house for that. If you what have- What does garlic exposure even do? Uh, weakens you and makes you more susceptible to damage. This effect stacks up to 100 times. Each stack increases damage taken by 1%, reduces your damage output by 5%. The effect wears off over time when not exposed. It also makes you smell bad, increasing the range which enemies detect you. And the effect persists through death. Yeah. It's kind of stinky, isn't it? <laughs> Vampires! Vampires. Are you still alive? Yeah. Well, this person is a level you. 47. We got to get out of here. We were not prepared for this, bro. Well, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. You definitely weren't prepared. Their natural response was self-sabotage. I'm so disappointed. They literally burnt the whole field. I was like, oh, wow, I'm going to start collecting cotton for later. And it's all gone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I think I have to pee too. I was gonna say like, let me take a bathroom break, and now we're in danger. <laughs> it's all going downhill very quickly. Are you still alive? Yeah, I'm good. He's so nonchalant about this, me. and he's low. He's a less of a level than me. I have a solvent. Oh, what kind of solvent? villager i know but like to the waypoint. just a villager like what's the blood percentage give me the deets he's a he's a worker i got a horse i'm gonna go back to then because i'm not ready for this area right now oh that human gave me an unsullied heart yeah so solvent's a worker why would you now. do that to my horse 
okay? Come, come to me. They broke him. I'm at the bottom of the, of the town. Across the bridge. Are you back in the woods? Uh, yeah. Like, I'm at a safe place. I'm coming. Just keep following the road. <gasps> I kind of want to bring this horse home at this rate. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. I have a horse. Now the question is, does Solvent want to be like a villager worker, or does the, the Solvent want to be like a warrior type? You better, you better suit him up with good armor. Yeah, but you, you can pick like warriors and stuff. Solvent says I got rock. Congratulations on your rock. Wait, can I teleport or do I have to run? Uh, you have to take him all the way back home. There is an item that will let you teleport st people. You don't have it yet, though. You don't have the teleporting people item. Although, I don't even know if that works for servants. I think that only is for prisoners. You're going to have to walk his ass back home. As far as I know right now, currently, with what you have. That's fine. Solomon says I'll be whatever you want me to be. I'm also going to probably have to walk my ass back home because I want to. I kind of want to keep this horse. I want to lock him in my castle. This is not the color I wanted. The other one had a black mane and I thought it was really cool, but some fucking villager set it on fire, so there's that. But I feel like I'm on a horse, right? Like, I could just run really fast now. Or I could ride really fast. We'll get there in no time, certainly. I'm gonna leave you behind, is that okay? Well, I went- I took the shorter path anyway. Oh, okay. So, that's fine. Oh my god. Solve it, you're so fucking slow. <laughs> I mean, you did just dominate him. He's kinda- Hello. he's- he's Hello. kinda- he's kinda like low on health, you know? He's a little slower. If I lock this horse in my castle, then do I have to feed it and keep it alive? I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. No, but she's gonna have a dead horse. No, I wanna keep him alive. I wanna have a pet. I want the castle to feel lively. Right now, I've got one servant ro like roaming around and that's it. I just- I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I have to go through this area? Fuck. You killed who? Your servant? servant. Yeah, see? It's kind of rough. I just didn't realize that re-pushing the button would... Would kill him. Like I said, because you've already... To, in order to dominate them, you've already had to get them low. So then the journey back home is dangerous because they're already like low on health. I learned that the hard way too with my prisoner expedition. So... Do not, do not fret. We've all been there. Well, I've been there. <laughs> Whoa. No, keep going, keep going. Don't worry about chests. No, don't kill my horse. I'll fuck you up. If you kill my horse, I'll haunt you. Sullivan said, wow, I lasted longer than expected. <laughs> I just I accidentally pushed in the um the like the magical like ability again and instead of just like doing nothing it just snapped his fucking neck. I just saw he wasn't his... technically solve it yet because I hadn't named him. He was just some random dude. Oh man, that's a repeat recipe. Damn. <sighs> okay, okay. Horse, are you still alive? Horse is still kicking. Let's fucking go. I gotta get back on the road. Spinal readjustment. <laughs> I'm almost home. Come on. We're almost there. Is this my house? I think it is. Yeah, I see my front. We made it! Come on, horsey! Get inside! Close the door. <gasps> Guys! I trapped a horse! Oh my god! Look at my pony! I have a pony now. Oh, you're gonna live with me forever. 
Is there a way that you can just tame a horse in general? Um, I don't know. I remember, I forgot what Purple told me. She said like, whenever you mount a horse, it's yours and you're going to see the icon on the map basically until it dies. So I think you can keep it alive. But I really didn't, I've never tried, so we're going to find out. I'm really stinky now because of the garlic. Yeah, how do I get rid of the garlic? Uh, you just have to wait right now. I don't know. If, I think eventually I don't know if there's a potion eventually, but right now we don't have it. So you kind of just have to wait. That's and the, the effect persists through death. So even if you died, it's not going to reset. Mm. Yeah. You got to stay smelling bad. Okay, I don't know where this shit goes. I'm gonna probably have to make some new storage chests. Yeah, I stacked up a good like 82 stink, so I'm gonna be stinky for a minute. Now I'm at 63. I think it's. I think it's minutes. Is it really? No, I yes, don't think right. so. Mine is going down as we speak, not by minutes. Oh well, I just saw it drop. Mine only drops. Yeah, mine only drops like it feels like one like one point a minute. Oh, maybe that's true then. I have two paper. Wow, it's huge. I have a pony. <laughs> I forgot that I don't have any more storage chests down here. Why did I come here? Fuck. Okay. I would love to eventually keep ponies in my little garden atrium area in the center that is not built yet, but someday, someday, it'll be cute. I promise, just hear me out. That shit goes upstairs and I forgot to put it upstairs. I'm already at 76. I haven't really been checking to see if it does go down by minutes. Oh, okay. I should make some blood rose brews, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make like two. Cause I have so many roses anyway, might as well. Might as well, just in case. Since we're getting into more dangerous regions soon. Does that really just make one? Damn. Alright, let's make two. I 
I love the alchemy table animation. It's actually so cute. Well, I'm so close. I just gotta kill Quincy, TBH. Did you find another servant? Well, I'm currently fighting... Fighting what? They do so much damage to me right now! I'm not, I'm, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay alive! What level am I at? I take a lot of damage from these guys with this garlic thing right now. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda rough. That one archer hit me for 53. Definitely kind of rough. I really wanted to see what the Shadewalker outfit looked like. I kind of like the top, but I didn't like the stats. I have to go to the bathroom again, so I will be right back. Okay? Okay. I'm in my castle safe. Oh man, it's nighttime. I wish it was daytime. Anyway, I'm waiting for this garlic to wear off anyway. Good <laughs> morning. Oh, welcome in. Oh, yes, yes. I believe I recognize the username. It was an offline fault. Well, I was sleeping playing VODs. Uh, but thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good morning. All right, I got somebody new. They are a dead eye rogue, and they have well, they're a lady. Well, that's fine. Solvent's gonna be a lady. Solvent is a lady in my playthrough too. <laughs> Solvent, sorry, it's just the first person that I was able to get my hands on. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> oh my gosh, 6.40 a.m. That's so early. Very early morning to you. <laughs> oh, Salvi with a clown face. Sorry, Salvi. Alright, actually, wait, does it... Does this help heal it? I don't know, but I'm gonna leave myself there anyway. I'll be right back in like five minutes chat. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and we will continue. We're in the final countdown here. We're at 48 minutes. Yay. I'll be RB.
chat, I return. I'm back. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. I I died and now I'm I'm onto my third servant now. Oh my god, Jalal. Okay, just it's your first servant. They don't have to be super mega crazy. Like no, you're gonna I know. be able to I'm have just more. Grabbing whatever I can get. <laughs> don't but... do like I did. What the heck? Let's see. I need to finish agricultural high school in the last year. Oh, nice. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Captain, hi, hi. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, man, that is crazy. Welcome back, Felby. Hi, Zombie. Thank you, thank you. What's crazy? Solvent! Solvent, what the fuck? What? Solvi, Solvi, saw, Solvi, Solvi did a bad thing. <laughs> Solvi, did they give subs? <laughs> Solvi gave a thirty dollar dono and was like, "You thought you were done." <laughs> Looks like we're continuing tomorrow, chat. Yay! <laughs> well, you don't have work tomorrow, do you? Nope. Wait, would you continue with me? Yup. Yeah! Oh my god. Okay, we'll solve it. You know, actually, we can even make tomorrow Apex. <laughs> Doesn't that sound exciting? I mean, I do have to do it at some point, so I guess, yeah, it could be Apex. You're not wrong. <laughs> Solvent, genuinely, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the dono. Um, we are now back up to almost two hours. We were in the last uh, 40 something minutes, and now there it goes again. We're at 136 points. That's huge. Two more hours. Let's go. <laughs> Solvent said the silence is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah. Well, okay, so here's the plan. I definitely was going to ride out the time tonight and just finish. However, comma, I do have to go to bed at a reasonable time because I do officially have to go back to work tomorrow. I cannot keep calling out days. <laughs> um, so definitely the entire week. No, I mean I want to, but I can't. But um, I'll save that for another week, maybe, where I take a whole week off. But um so I mean, I'm going to play for a little bit more because I'm, I'm still okay. And then whatever time is left, we will finish tomorrow. Sound like a plan? Also, that got you to the... Wait, there's no fucking way you jumped us up two goals in one dono? That got you well, to the velvet... Well, one dollar is one point, isn't it? Velvet draws a new emote and velvet skin goals. Fuck. Damn. Okay. I was... I, I guess, yeah, I literally made the point system and I kind of don't remember what the points were worth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe you! Alright. <clears throat> but also, genuinely, thank you. I appreciate it. And you didn't have to do that, but thank you. There's no way I'm at my front fucking door and this plant pops out of the ground and kills my servant your servant really oh no i'm sorry for a new day. <laughs> yes with the smiley face I, that's crazy right now solvent <laughs> a dollar equals a point yes i did quite literally come up with the point system and yet i'm still baffled <laughs> i'm still upset right now there's no way that this happened Jalal's right. going through it for this one servant he is i'm so sorry Sorry. Like, we finally made it home. And you got killed at the front door. I didn't get killed at the front door, he did. Well, he did, yeah. That is unfortunate and really, really annoying. I feel that. 14 points from the new 3D model. Oh boy. That, that's crazy. I did not think we'd get here. Also, you're so sneaky for doing that while I was in the bathroom, bro. What the heck? <laughs> I cry. 
Wow, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. You didn't have to. I, I, I laugh and I joke and I sound annoyed, but I'm like really thankful. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I purposefully waited. I had a feeling. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, there's no way that he just did that. Like on coincidence. You definitely, that was a targeted Wait, attack. I needed a morning lily for something. What was it? <laughs> Thank you, Salvi. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> we are we are at 136 points. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe we've got about two hours back. I mean, I'm definitely down. Are you down for Apex tomorrow then to knock one thing off the list of activities? I'm down. Solvent, are you down? Are you free? I gotta I gotta reinstall, but I can reinstall while I'm at work tomorrow. It's kind of a big game. I don't know if you'll actually get it installed in time. Um, if I start at 9 o'clock in the morning, it won't be ready by 8 or 8.30? I don't know. Seriously? There's no way. I've, I've installed it, like, at least twice before, and it hasn't taken that long. I mean, it's like a 90 gigabyte game. I think it'll be okay. I'll start as soon as I, I clock in for work, as soon as I get up and turn on my computer. I think so, assuming nothing comes up. Well, now you gotta. Especially since... <laughs> especially because of your sneak attack. But, uh... Yeah, so that sounds like the plan. We'll definitely be playing tomorrow. At 8 o'clock. Eastern time. Start time. We will check off the Velvet Plays Apex. Uh, Velvethon goal. I don't know. You guys can come up with, I guess, whatever you would like me to try to do. I thought... I would play for at least like two hours. I don't know if you want me to try and get a kill or if you want to win a game. I will let you decide that. I don't think that's possible with me playing. <laughs> with... We're playing ranked. <laughs> what? I don't even think I can. I have to be a certain level, don't I? The silence. Okay. Um, we'll see. Sorry, I crafted something. I'm level 30 now. <gasps> Let's fucking go. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Quincy is 37. I'm gonna go fight Quincy. I'll fight him again with you. I just- I need to go fight Quincy. Um, well, they're what? They're level 37? Yeah. You wanna fight him it's with me? That bad. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't me... know where he is, TBH. Um, so let me try and figure that out. <laughs> right now, he's very far away from my- from my house. From, like, castle. Although, I'm also trying to wait for this garlic thing to go away. I'm at 20. Yeah, we should not fight that with the garlic thing, but mine's gone. I'm almost done. Um, I'm not gonna like officially go BRB, but Lucy's barking, so I gotta check on her real quick. So I'm just gonna step away for like five seconds, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Gonna go fight Quincy. Oh. Oh.
first drag copper to get. I'm back. Alright, I'm gonna try and craft some armor. Sorry. Copper course. Thread. So what happened was, Lucy's got this neat habit now. <laughs> I mean, listen. I think I've told chat before that we had an issue where Lucy was eating her own poop. And that was definitely a trying time. Very vexing. Um, now, I think, like, knock on wood, she's gotten better at that. Actually, not better. She's she's not doing that anymore. But the funny thing is now, whenever she does poop, or pee even, and she's by herself, she starts barking to let everybody know, Hey, I did this. Come clean it up. And she, like, will not stop barking until someone comes and cleans it up. So she was barking just now because she pooped. And she was trying to tell me, hey, come clean it up. I can't go to sleep because there's poop here. So yeah, that's what that was. Although now she's still barking, so I don't know what she wants. Because she's already pooped and she's already peed. She's fine. <laughs> so, I mean, on one hand, I'm grateful that she's not eating it anymore. And I think it's really cute that she's instead learned how to, like, alert somebody. <laughs> to come get it and she wants praise that she did it I really have to just uh, pick my battles <laughs> pick my battles neat habit neat neat habit I can't speak anymore <laughs> neat habit is a funny way of wording that yeah you know <laughs> cuz I don't know if it's really that neat but <laughs> Just the princess declaring she has done her business. <laughs> oh my god, it's quite literally that. She's like, um, I did a poopy. Now, um, can you servants please come get it? <laughs> I demand it be cleaned. <laughs> she's really something else. I don't know why she's growling right now, actually. <laughs> now I think she just wants attention. It's either like, clean up my poop or pee, or I want attention. Uh, one of those three things. I'm at six garlic. We're almost done here. I'm almost ready. I'm gonna start looking for Quincy, TBH. Do you need- I mean, I can give you some stuff. Let me- like, what do you need? No, no, no. Uh. Say no, no, no. I- I- I want to help. You won't let me. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, I'm gonna be amazed. I'm gonna go to this way gate. I don't really know where Quincy is, but I'm gonna take a guess. Wait, don't don't go yet. I'm not going, but I need to figure out where he is. Right now, everywhere I go is as far away. I am a level 38. Yo, let's fucking go. That's perfect. You'll be able to fight Quincy. He's a 37. Okay. I went to the northernmost way gate in the woods, and now it says he's very close, so come to that one. Okay. Hang on one more second. Oh yeah, no problem. I got two, two more garlic to get rid of anyway, so I'm just gonna chill here. Did you make the merciless weapons? Is that what helped? Or one of them at least? No, I don't have any of the merciless weapons. I just made better armor and a ring. Oh, okay. You have the level 12 ring or one of them? Mm hmm What armor set did you go with? I went with the, um, the Shade Walker. Oh, I want to see that. I wanted to make that for myself because the top looked really nice. But I went with the Warlock because of the dress. Well, did you look at, like, what that does? Yes, and I the Warlock is helpful because I one of my main spells has Leech, so Warlock helps me. So you got the extra spell power? Yeah. And now I just equipped a traveler's wrap, oh. which made me go up to level 38. Oh, maybe I forgot that the, the capes had a level. Maybe I should also do that. Now, maybe I can upgrade my weapons as well. Sorry, I know I'm taking forever. No, take your time. I'm gonna go back home, since I know which, uh, gate to go to anyway now. I'm garlic free! 
Oh, I do not have the whetstones for that. Never mind. Holy shit. What is it? I need 9, 18, 27, 36. You need 36 whetstones to do this. To do what? To get the merciless weapons. That's ridiculous. Do you have at least one merciless weapon? No, but I don't have nine whetstones. I can give you nine whetstones. I mean, I've got some. I have ten whetstones, so I can make one. Oh, okay. I would say at least make one that you're gonna use in a boss fight. That'll help. Any little boost helps, you know? I gotta go with the bow. So make the bow, then. and leather. Leather? Ah, oh, this does give health. Man, I should wear this, actually. What the fuck am I doing? So with the bow equipped, I'm a level 41. Me, that's what I am. Let's fucking go. You can easily fight. There's a bunch of bosses that you can fight now, actually, that we have kind of skipped over. But we'll get to them eventually. But Grayson is kind of important. Okay. To start grinding for, so. Where am I teleporting to? Wait, can you? Wait, wait where are you? We... Right... I'm in my house. Okay, stay in your house for a second. I want to zoom in. How do I zoom? Is this really the furthest I can zoom? My whole chest is out. Unless that's the armor. No, oh. that's my body. <laughs> yeah, because the Shadewalker vest definitely looks like slits. Oh my, looks like I slapped. Oh, no worries, SCP. If you need rest, get rest. You're still at home, right? Yeah. Okay. I sure is. Where are you? I'm inside the main hall. Oh, look at you! Wait, let me see you from the front. Oh, hello, hello. That looks hot. Can you pick that up? It's a gift. Does it let you wear it? There we go. It has the same stats as the Traveler's Wrap. It's just from one of the DLCs that I have. It's your we should probably wait for sundown. Yeah, that's fine. Stop killing up now. Look, we have mentioned capes. Yes. There'll be a better version when we get an upgraded table, but this is the first version of it. Figure. I figured it was your colors. It's cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Green is for Xbox. Okay, well, I meant like your vampire colors. <laughs> Red, black, and gold. Jalal. You can also turn it off if you don't want it visible, but still keep it on to keep the stats. I want it visible. Oh, I know, I'm just saying. I think it's cool that that's an option, you know? If I wanted my grippers out, like my grippers could be out. I could go pantsless. Actually, what would it look like if she went pantsless? Damn, look at that, my legs are out. Cuz I'm wearing a dress. Wait, this it... just changes the way that I look. Yeah, that's for... how, do I, how do I change the way that my my clothes like the color of my clothes? When you go uh your inventory, you see like there's an arrow above each thing. Mhm. Mm you click on that arrow and you'll get like a color you get color wheels. Oh. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna put the pants back on, but I just was curious. <laughs> Same, I slept for a couple hours. Oh my god, I know it's really late for you. Please, if you need sleep, get sleep. 
Hey, yo, oh. the grippers. Yeah, I can have my grippers out. Damn, look at that. Toes. Toes for free. <laughs> nah, I'll keep my clothes on. <laughs> Ooh, I like. Look at the red. I need to feed on someone too. <gasps> my health right now is 420. Hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> so is mine. We love to see it. I wonder what that outfit would look like on a woman on the female body uh, character type. <clears throat> Probably would have held the boobies. <laughs> That's kind of why I wanted it, but the. Uh, I didn't really- I wasn't crazy about the movement speed. I wanted the spell boost with this one. Alright, I have now all <laughs> 420 blaze up. it! Yes! <laughs> Alright, look at my colors now. Oh my god, I love! Look at you! It looks sick! I like this a lot. You want to make a potion or something before we go? I've already got two of them. Oh, good, good. I didn't make it. I just found them. Even better. I made two rose potions in my alchemy table. Uh, let's see. I know it's still sun. But I'm going to start looking for him. <clears throat> By the time we find him, hopefully it will be nighttime. I shall wait for you here. I don't really remember what Quincy's fight was like. It says the Probably king, a brute. the king of the bandits, once heralded as a hero of the common people in Dunley. His lack of proper reverence for the Church of Illuminance saw him driven into Farbane, where his prowess in battle earned the respect of the banditry and eventually a place as their champion and king. He may have been a good man once. We get another Wait, chaos. Where are you? I'm at the northernmost um, waygate. That's you know still in Farbane. Um, he's huge because we get another chaos spell point, which I love the chaos spells. We get the smithy for iron some iron forging, we get the tailoring bench for upgraded armor, we get some new stairs and doors, we get iron ingot recipe, and new battle gear. Like, he's- he's a good- he's a good, uh, improvement one. Like, he's- he gets a lot of stuff. Like, some of them, I feel like- don't give too much, and then some of them give, like, a lot of the important stuff. You know what I mean? <clears throat> when he uses his shield, attacks bounce back to you, I think. Okay, okay. Good to know. Thank you, Purple. So attacking when his shield is up. Okay, got it. <laughs> the strategies. We can start- See, you were- you were so worried about me, like, not leveling up, but I was just collecting all the stuff I needed to do so when the time was right. I wasn't worried. I just wanted to help. I was like, oh, if you need things, like, let me help. And you were like, no, no, I got this. There's a bunch that you haven't done, though, like, lower than this guy that we can go back and easily do now that you're fucking oh, yeah, level 41. I think I've skipped, like, six or seven. But I've only had you do ones that I know had like important recipes. Some of them, like I said, aren't super crucial and you can kind of wait on. Like the fisherman, you know? I don't need a fishing pole right now. Arguably. Why not? I mean, because it's not... I think the fishing pole probably will become more useful when you have prisoners that you need to constantly feed and so you can go fish for food for them. But like right now, we don't have that, so why do we need fish, you know? But that's just my speculation. I like yeah, he's in here. Oh, he's okay, we have to turn into bears. I don't have bears. I'll do it then. I mean, you don't have to turn into a bear. You could also explode the gate. And we did fight the 
Clive, the explosive guy, but you have the bear form. Oh wait, I'm gonna feed on him. Oh my god, 87. Crazy. Yeah, and I'm almost low. Um, if you have the bear form, you could just knock this down with the bear form. There you go. <laughs> Your bear girlfriend just broke down the wall. We might want to kill some of these stragglers before we fight him. Uh, I don't know exactly where he is. Time to murder. Yes, we murder. We murder here. Save these guys because I'm going to tame one of them and take them back with me. Okay. Good idea. So he's very close. He might be up the stairs, I guess. There's a- oh, no, I thought he was a good person, never mind. got this. We'll, we'll get him. Easy peasy. I believe. Damn. Dead. Dead. Do you like the bow so far? Yeah, I like the bow. Nice. I just wish I could be more mobile with it. This is close. We're getting there. Oh, that's a 57% if you want to grab him. Nice. Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. <clears throat> I killed them. We're very close. I think he might be up these stairs. Yeah, let's check around for some chests real quick. No. Nope. These are some cute little houses, honestly. <laughs> well, he's not directly up here just yet. Anything in this other house? No? He's, he's imminent. Oh, here it comes! We're gonna murder. Oh, yes, this is him right here. Show me your medal. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, he does chaos magic. That is what I do. Homie leaves his area. <laughs> A proper challenge. Show me your metal head. Shit. I forgot the AoE on this guy. <laughs> he certainly breaks a lot of stone in his path. Oh, 
Show me. Oh, there's the reflect. Yep. It's okay, we've almost halved him. Wow. Rise to the challenge. Show me what you got. Ah! Oh, I did not dodge that. I can't. All right, he's less than half now. Fuck you, bro. I'm dead. No, 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 bro no. Bro just wombo combo the fuck out of me. He, wait, he's stunned. You can revive him. No, but it wasn't gonna be enough time. Any more health orbs on the field? There's one. There's two more. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh shit. I didn't mean to revive you, but I was trying to dodge. Oh shit, the shield! I've almost got him. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Oh, you're almost dead, you asshole! No. Yes! Uh, no, wait. Hold to revive! Incredible. Woo! Oh my god. My shoulders. <laughs> I'm so tense. Now extract. Did that finish? It didn't no. finish! No, wait! I went all the way to the bar! Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Are you not a lot? Wait, why isn't it reviving you? I don't know. Oh no, don't do this to me. It's not reviving. Just, just finish him off, just finish him off. Oh my god, no! We'll fight him again. Just dodge him by it. Oh my god, solve it. <laughs> I wonder if it's because you were right next to each other, but I was literally, clearly clicking revive. I am alive. We'll respawn in a minute. If you suck it, it will still count for him. Will it really? Wait, can you check your thing? Did it count? What? Does it count that you fought him for, for you? Oh, it does. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, perfect! So we still did it! You just gotta be nearby for it to count. Ah, I see, I see. <gasps> Thank you, purple. Yo! Oh, I get the music box now! I'm so excited! I gotta go home, we gotta go home! I gotta craft! <laughs> I have my epic music. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I had a hiccup. Oh my god, I was so- I was like ready to be just so, uh, upset that it wasn't gonna count for us. <laughs> I'm so glad. I honestly, like, I was doing so well that entire time just to get stunned because I got caught by one of those rope things and then I got, like, triple slammed by the boss and I died. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Hey, at least we still both got it. Wait, Pearl, right thank you, this. purple. <laughs> I learned from you, my queen. Wait. I forgot. I'm not doing the way gate. What do you mean? Oh, you're trying to get these. You want to, you want to clear this area? Oh shit, they throw explosives. You're setting them free only to make them your prisoner. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Kind of sad. For them. I want to check this tent. 
Anything in here? Nothing. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, I gotta walk this bitch home. Can you walk with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help protect. Oh, he's very low. Yeah, we'll protect. Alright, we have an escort. <clears throat> you have a, a wolf escort. Bro, I'm so fucking excited about these recipes now. <gasps> oh my god, we're on the prison one! Oh my god, I gotta redeem myself. <laughs> I gotta redeem myself. <laughs> Do you have it marked? Home? Um, I'm gonna mark it as well. Yeah, I've so. got it marked. Okay. And this little straw hat. What percent was he? One percent? He's one percent. That's okay. A worker, though, is still, I think, a good type. Yeah, Solvent's gonna be slaving away getting me ore. Oh my god, poor Solvent. Tristan the Vampire Hunter? Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I mean, he's a boss. We kind of can fight him, but we're going to lose your guy in the process. Let's wait for him to pass. Maybe we go around. A different way. You fuck. I'm not letting one of your kind kill my dude again. I've been <laughs> refused. Have I even fought Tristan? Wait a minute. I don't think I have. I don't think I'm ready for him yet. He was yellow. Yeah, I don't think... I think he's... Yeah, he's level 44. He's two levels higher than us. We're not ready for that at all. Well, I mean, I'm not. Wait, where are you? I'm in the woods. Oh, god. I was looking I at the... go around, so I went around. I, I know, but I wasn't... I was looking at the... The boss map, so I lost sight of you. Oh, this is unfortunate. I'll keep, I'll keep him alive. The mission here is to keep this man alive. This feels like an epic, like, uh, escort mission, you know? <laughs> we will make it home! We will make it home this time with the worker in tow. Why is the sunlight not there? It is. I was like, the sunlight's not even trying to, like, kill me. Oh shit, I'm coming. Sorry, I was looking for shade. We're almost there. Yeah! Let me go to your front door first to see if anything spawns, you know, and I'll kill it. Like plants. <laughs> and I'll open your door so you can just scoop him in. You need another gem thing? There's one back there. Hmm. It's okay. I just kind of saw it on the path and decided to get it. We don't- we go this way, I think, yeah. Yeah, we were- I was just checking blood. Oh, okay. Eventually, I think we get a, an ability where you can check blood from far away. Uh, I don't have that yet, I, either. I can- I can right now. Oh. Maybe I've done- not done that person or something, I don't know. No, it's just like a- you just have to put your clicker up. No way! No, no, I mean, like, you can- uh, never mind. Let me focus on these dudes right now. They killed homie. They killed him? 
Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's all right. We just take one of these. There's a 14% dude. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm accidentally killing him. Okay, my bad. There's a 5% mugger. You want the miner for 10%? The miner, he's got ten oh, percent. I killed the other dude. Got him. Are we going the right way? Yeah, I'm just cutting through the forest. Oh, okay. That's a golem. Yeah. <laughs> we are no longer cutting through the forest. <laughs> R run, miner! Um, you run with him. I'll try and stave him off. Keep going, keep going. Just keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going! We're not gonna be able to f kill him in one go, but eventually he'll turn back around. Yep, he did. Fucker. He was alone! I mean, your 10% miner is better than 1% worker. Or, yeah, he's a one- yeah, you're right. The mining doesn't sound too bad, because maybe when you send- When you send right, him out here. on- on missions, maybe he'll be able to mine stuff for you better. We're here? Okay, wait, let me check your front door. Stay back, let me clear these dogs. Okay. Oh my god, he got a lot of stuff. The sun. Wait, there's dogs. Stay back. I'll kill him. Oh, he had 92%. Shit, I'm sorry. I was trying to keep your boy alive. Quick, get him in. There's a tree ant in your front yard. Is he is in? He yeah, he's in, he's in, he's in. I'm coming, I'm coming. Stay out there. Alright, I'm going to my house now. Congrats on your first servant. Appreciate it. I'm sorry that the first guy died. <laughs> but arguably, this was an upgrade. My horse is still here. Oh. So... He gets reduced difficulty by a hundred when infiltrating settlements because he's a worker type. His expertise is not great, but oh. the increased amount of loot secured from successful hunts in Farbane Woods by 20%. It's pretty decent, arguably. Pretty huge, pretty huge. <clears throat> I'm putting everything to process, and then I'm gonna look at my new recipes. Ah, I'm excited! The next big thing to build will be the iron smithy. And, um, what did we get from him? We got the iron, the smith, oh, it's just called the smithy. And the tailoring bench. From this, after this armor that you've just gotten, any new armor is gonna be built at the tailoring bench. And we're gonna have okay. to farm iron ore for the iron ingots. I mean, still keep the other bench, I think, because there's probably- I don't- I don't remember if there's stuff you need at it, but... I'm just saying, like, the next upgrade is gonna be at the tailoring bench. And iron weapons will be made at the smithy. <laughs> Putting away all my goods, all the goods, all the spoils of war. So exciting. Uh, I think... I 
I hate when an item goes into your hotkeys and I forget to like store it away because I just don't look there. Paper and sawdust. You got any paper in here? No, we don't have paper in there. 43! Oh my god, so close. I think we already have this. We do. One, two, three. We're missing literally five recipes from the research desk. So, so close. Yeah, I had, <laughs> I had a book, but the book didn't do anything. At least you can devour it for paper to kind of get you closer. Yeah, I've got... 29 paper? Wait, you have 29? We can make something. We can, I mean, we can learn something. I have enough with your 29. I'll come get it. I'll right, I'll I gotta use the bathroom, but I think I'm also done. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go another eight minutes and end at an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and log out. Okay. Wait, can I have your paper before you go? It's in my chest. You should be able to grab it. Oh, I'm not sure if I can if you're gone. Wait, let me see. Well, we're in the same clan, so I'm pretty sure we, you can, but I, I'm just gonna sit here then. But I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'm right here. Okay. Okay, bye, chat. Say bye bye. Thank you for playing. Of course. Alright, I took his paper. Took his papel. Uh, wait, does that not give us a knife? 39? Oh, did I count wrong? Oh, I thought that would give us enough. Well, that's, we're getting closer. Wait, am I dumb? Did I not count correctly? <laughs> Bye, Chilla, I love you. Yeah, I do have to go to bed at a decent time today because I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I can't stay up too, too long. But I kind of wanted to leave off at an even time. For the timer. Not even, but, you know, a good time. Looks like tomorrow we will be doing the Apex goal, which we hit tonight. And never fear, because even... I know we've only got like an hour left on the timer. Oh, I did have enough paper. I'm stupid. Okay. Um, I will go for longer than that just because we're doing a goal, you know? But we will finish the time tomorrow then. We got vases and plants! Let's fucking go! One, two, three, four. We're so close. We're so close! Okay. As a matter of fact, let me just put myself in here. I'll probably... It'll take me six minutes to do an outro and find someone to raid. So I'm gonna chill down here. Where I'm safe. Put that to process. Well, let me put myself in my coffin. Too, too, too long? Ma'am, it is 1.30. I know, okay, you're right. You're right! You're right, and I should be responsible. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much again for an epic third night of the Velvethon. Um, I did think it would be the finale, but alas, we had several amazing, like, last minute snipers today. I'm gonna pause the timer here actually at an hour and five. Um, and I appreciate it so, so much. I'm honored that you guys are still keeping this going. Uh, thank you so much for the support. I, I'm truly like, I'm at a loss for words. I did not think we'd get this far. And I'm so grateful and appreciative. <laughs> the finale of the finale, I know. <laughs> well, we'll be back again tomorrow. We will finish out our hour and five minutes, or I don't know, I guess I gotta stop saying we'll finish because maybe another surprise attack will happen and we'll go for more um but regardless tomorrow we will do at least a decent amount of time of apex because that is you know one of the goals i promised i would try apex again and that is what we're gonna do um and i'll be joined by jalal and solvent who will definitely carry me <laughs> um other than that the apex goal is kind of an easy one since it is just a, a game that i can stream 
that will happen tomorrow um i'm gonna assume we're, we're taking an assumption that velvethon ends tomorrow tomorrow will be my last stream of the week and then i'm gonna take a few days of a break for the rest of this week to prepare the rest of the goals that we hit and then next week we're gonna start doing those streams so we'll do the velvet outfit tier list we'll do an ask they ask me anything uh, we'll do the iq test I'll prepare the merch drop announcement and you know all the, all the stuff that we've hit so far um i will take a little break when the Vilvathon is over to get that stuff prepared and we'll start doing it in the next couple of weeks <laughs> i had other plans i'm honored thank you so much um so i will write out now i'm not gonna leave the stream running because i think that stressed me out <laughs> more than anything while I was trying to sleep, so I will raid out, but before I do, here's a friendly reminder that you can find me on all these other platforms. Check out my Twitter, I post announcements and reminders about stream, and you can catch other Velvet shenanigans there. Um, I've got, you know, a VOD channel, I've got a YouTube channel and a TikTok for clips. Haven't been able to clip anything from the Velvethon so far, it's another thing that I'm kind of waiting for it to be over, and then I'll probably gather some clips. I have marked some stuff. Um, to be posted on those channels once it's over and the madness has subsided and don't forget we also have a discord channel please feel free to join it's the best place to chat with me offline off stream i post my schedules there first um, i'm able to talk more because you know twitter you've only got so many characters so definitely i get to just communicate more often with my community in the discord server also if you've hit you know, if you've gotten the- reach the Court Noble reward, then that's where you're gonna claim your, your role in the Discord server, so feel free to join. And, um, yeah. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun today. Um, a nice chill day. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I really, really love this game, you know. I cannot stop singing its praises, and I'm having fun playing with my friends. and dragging them along with me <laughs> on this addiction. Um, thank you guys again for spending time with me. I am honored. <laughs> um, I do know who we're gonna raid. I saw them. I saw the go live notification a little bit ago. So I know they've recently started. Uh, let me get their stream pulled up. Do do do. Yeah. We're gonna raid a dear friend, Astra Divinay. They are a Cosmic Cat VTuber, and they're playing that new gacha game, Wuthering Waves, right now. Which I know people are really enjoying. Um, sounds like a fun one. I don't know if I'll ever try it, but I'm down to watch my friends play it. <laughs> um, and they're playing with friends, Shay and Nicoli. So we're gonna send Astra the Vampire Queen love. If you'd like to stick around for the raid, here are my raid messages. If you are a follower, please feel free to use the first message. Those are some desktop emotes and my Oshi marks. However, if you are a sub, which fortunately, lots of you have subs now, thanks to this Velvathon and the amazing contribution of some amazing people, please feel free to use the message with the dancing Velvius. Um, again, I will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Same time, same place here on twitch.tv slash VT. Um... Thank you guys so much. I am- I- I love you guys. I thank you for spending the evening with me. I had so much fun. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Heart hands. Alright, let me get this raid going. I'm gonna raid Astra. Astra, Astra. They're super sweet. So... Let's say hello. Alright. I'm starting it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your night or a great rest of your day. Please take care of yourselves. Don't forget to eat and hydrate. I hope to see you guys soon. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.